Flash was good. We like they peeling back the layers. Like I said, man, for for both it and Arrow, well, Arrow found his mojo. I said in season five, and who we on what Flash season five? So it's gotten. It's like it must CW shows must do this. <laughs> they lose their way in three oh, and yeah. four, and then bounce back in five. That's what it feel like. Um, Flash is doing right now, bouncing back in five. Okay. Cause like I was, re I like, cause I remember even some of the first couple episodes this season. I was like, mm, I don't know, but then they oh, okay. they think yeah. they got his walk together, and it's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, I can rock with you. Now. I can rock with you. Got together, and Arrow just been like I said. Arrow been hitting on all all cylinders, and like I said with Black Lightning last episode, I was like, bro, I be having to make myself like watch Black Lightning, but then when I watch it, it be I like it, and it's the same thing. <laughs> I said, but for some reason this season, this episode, I think I was kind of amped because of the trailer it made me already kind of want to see this one. Okay. Because you know what I mean, you got Khalil with the haircut fighting and shit. You got you know what I mean. I don't know. Oh some, yeah, with the the new useless. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, talk about useless! Oh, that no, that chick ain't useless though. Oh yeah, she put in work. Oh no, 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 she put in some work. That's why, why that's why I can't wait for y'all to see this one because the mama put in some work, son. She ain't. I won't call her useless. Well, there, <laughs> there, there are some useless the people. Useful they, no, there are some useless people in this episode uh -huh. that whenever y'all see it, then I can say, and then I'm gonna be laughing like, yeah, man. There go some more people of the useless type. Um, one thing I did notice myself realizing about uh, Khalil, uh, he works to me the more heroic he is. He, like, I had all the ribbon for him when he was like full blown villain because I don't believe that dude is a bad person. <laughs> but like in his past episodes, not like he's like a superhero or something or nothing. But like, he, like you know him and him and Jen on the run. So. Right. Uh, he's fighting bad guys, and for some reason, watching him fight bad guys works for him to me. Versus watching him try to be a bad guy, cause you okay. you you're just not menacing for me, Khalil. You got the <laughs> muscles and the size, but you seem like a good person. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's like you know what I mean. So he he got the dreads cut off. He you know he's fighting bad guys. I'm like okay. I think you need to just be a, a hero. <laughs> you need to be a hero or anti-hero. So that's that's your lane if they don't until they murder you because you will die. Yeah, still. I was about to say, we could just kill him. I don't know. You know, I've been saying from dump he gonna die. I don't know when he gonna die, but he gonna die. But yes, yeah, so I could I could say that about the about the BL. See, I have them strength. Miss J still just walked in the building. Hi. You over there look like you finished rolling up too. I am, I am. You know what I'm I'm saying? Awesome. Great shit for hmm. Thank you for shooting that audition for me the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Y'all come closer to the mic. That shit was funny. Martin, like, I ain't used to doing this, man. I'm like, uh, maybe I want to read these lines. Uh, all right. I don't know. Let me put my life together. Okay. Huh? Nah, that was cool, man. Uh, I was, yeah, thank you, man. That was fun. Hey, man, no, you said thank you, thank me, thank you, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, I can help. I'm sorry. No, no, no you're all good. On. Yeah, I know, no. There's a lot happening. There's so much happening. Yeah. <laughs> I got this and smelling all good over here. Is that Melba's I smell? Don't say that. Don't say that on air. No, Whoops. It's, it's not Melba's. It's not. No. We don't Shoot. eat from there. Sorry. What did I miss? I'm sorry. It ain't. Yeah, yeah, I said that. We don't eat from there. We don't. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't. I don't patron that. that I don't patron them either. I don't either. No, well, oh, I really don't. See, okay, I don't know about that. Yeah. She, she just broke recently. Is there like? <laughs> is there like a? Is there a reason? Is there any why? Should I know why we don't patron that place? You know what I mean? I forgot you'd be under a rock, Martin. Because they're racist. Oh, uh, they just that said just like last year they're was racist. just like uh we would. If you can see your face right now. Because I'd be this, this is something I'd be able to I used to have to tell uh, Devin and Joe a lot. How no, much I the just mic picks do it up. Now. Oh, I know it does. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do it now. He picks up everything. And sometimes right. they'll have these like 
They'll like be balling up rapper. I'm very aware. That was, I, I'm eating. trying to get it out the way now. Or like having little so, side yeah, conversations, trying like to trying to whisper. And, I'm, and, I, and I, sometimes I have to cover their whisper because on air I can't say, say motherfuckers. Shut the mic hit. hit no, not even just stop eating. Like the mic hears everything. So if y'all have a little side joke, it can't be that long because guess what? The people on the list are going to be to hear. This, what, what the fuck did they mumbling about? You know what I'm saying? So it's just the little thing. So when she just balled up that bag all loud and common, I like, okay, I'll stop talking. I might even have a chance to edit this out. I know, I'm good. You feel me? We good. But, uh... We all good. I mean, we good, not you. But, uh, I, uh, I lost my thought. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my thought. They are secretly white-owned, number right. one, oh. which isn't a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Did you I, know I that Jeans that. was white-owned, though? No. You sure? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Eugene is what it's short for. It. It's white boy. It's white boy. Well, was, his dad was Eugene Sr. And oh, Eugene no. Jr. that took over. And yeah, it's, I very, never very knew it was white people. No, I never knew. I, I, I swore up and down. I would right. have bet, bet like life money on that. Bro, I would have bet mad, mad money on yeah. Jeans, poor boy. That's yeah, being black. black yeah. <laughs> so I would have lost my bank fucking around with that bet, bro. Straight up. No, they're white. Right? Mm. Wow. Yeah, and also they were boycotting because... Of the NFL? Yeah, I forgot that they sided. They did something they did though. Because that's the thing. If it, I'm the type of person, I don't be the person that be like, cancel all willy nilly or boycott all willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you do something and I decide not to patron your spot no more, I just don't. Like Denny's. I haven't been to Denny's since that shit that went down when we was like in high school where they was on some racist shit. And. Uh. Dennis? Yeah, right. they had this big story was in high school about them being on some racist shit. It's like, it's like, like the food chain. Yeah, but right? okay. And I remember we used to go to Denny's a lot um, when I was in in, in school because if I remember right, um, they had one in Metairie when you coming from like the movies or something. And I think I remember us right, always like on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, yeah and I think yeah. I remember us used to always leaving the movies and going to Denny's. So I used to go to Denny's a lot. And when all that racist shit came, I was like, up, oh, not fucking with Denny's no more. I ain't been there since. Was just creepy. So was it was it that specific Denny's or was it just like a Denny's, was somewhere Denny's. in general that, that just kind of got all I know is Denny's was on some bullshit and the management wasn't with that sh- wasn't like it's almost like how I feel about uh, they clean it up but I already I don't even eat them much like uh, was it was it Waffle House recently who yeah I've kind of said fuck them yeah, yeah because I, I do say fuck two them. or three things happened in that establishment it's too much yeah and the owners and the owners back the police or back, always go against the black person or the gay person whoever that it's happening to right. so but it's the thing I don't like Waffle House anyway so I'm not a so, it's, so yeah, yeah so for I me it's that. like I don't know if you call it boycotting because I don't really eat there anyway but now I have a reason why I don't fuck with them <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean it's like the NFL like I only really kept up with the Saints you know what I'm saying I never was like I've never been a huge sports guy so when it right. came time to boycott the NFL, I was like, well, I don't know if my boycott counts because... <laughs> yeah, it's more of a half-ass boycott. <laughs> right, I mean, really? Like, you want to call it that? Because I wasn't... I wasn't watching I anyway. I wasn't tuned in anyway. I just keep up with Saints games because yeah. I'm from New Orleans. You hear me? Exactly. But that, that's about where my buck stopped with it. So, I guess. Short shrug. Same boat. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. Just being from New Orleans, man, I shout out to Anthony Mackie, man, because I just got booked in a film uh, that he's like the lead in. And I just did my scene uh, with him and uh, Jamie Dorn and the guy from uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, the two of the, the 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 leads. The lead. Oh, uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting mix up. Anthony Mackie and Jamie Dorn and uh, yeah, I, I hope I'm saying name? his last name right. Dornan. 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 There we go. Dornan. Okay. Yeah, they both tall as fuck. Wow. But um. Oh, is the dude from Fifty Shades? Boy, they both. He taller than Anthony Mackie. Really? Bruh. Okay. They both tall. I was looking up like, God damn, you you guys are, are, are actors, aren't you? <laughs> tall, tall, dark, and handsome motherfuckers. Is it a, uh, what, what genre uh, is it? Uh, sci-fi slash detective slash dark comedy. All right, on board. There's a few things, you know what I mean? I got to play an a, a animal control guy. And anytime I'm not playing a gangster, I'm happy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Awesome. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's always a lovely plus, you dig? But one of the, I wrote on Facebook recently how it was a milestone because uh, when I was at Dillard, uh, my director, uh, Ray Rizell, he uh, used to teach Anthony Mackey when Anthony was in high school. And I remember when I first got there, he used to bring up, like, you know, he used to bring him up to me. He's like, man, you remind me of his work ethic and this and that. And, like, this before he was the Falcon. This before yeah. he was even big. You just, you know, I just knew he was a New Orleans cat that was getting major movie roles and shit. And, like, I, just, I knew him as Papa Doc for the longest time. I mean, that's, that was for the <laughs> yeah, longest time. For the longest time. It been I around, just watched that recently. Yeah, it might have been around Papa that Doc. era when I'm growing up watching him. That's why I say, like, right now, you can just say Anthony Mackey, you know, the Avengers you know put his he, ass on. Right. But this right. was a time where... 
I felt like he was just my little New Orleans actor secret guy. Because I'm like, I always was used seeing him as, oh shit, this nigga made it from the seven. I'm from the seven. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like me. He, you know, whoopie woo. So when I see him on, I'm like, man, yeah, I'm going to share a set with this motherfucker. Yeah. We do fences of, after uh, a few years later. later. Ray got him to come through, give us advice. I'm like, yeah, son, I'm going to be seeing you. So years after all that, graduating college and all that, to be, I got, not that I just got grandfathered, then I got booked in the scene on my own merit. With the cat that in, in, certain, in certain ways kept me focused to being like, oh, this could really happen. I was like, nigga, like out of all the different other motherfuckers I didn't been in scenes with, I didn't been in movies with. This is almost like I say for the oath when it's like, the big celebrities ain't what big, make me big. It's the ones that have some kind of personal connection to me, whether it's I watched them on TV or like I just said, he was like a, a, like a sort of inspiration and, sh and su as such. I was like, oh, this is some cool shit. <laughs> That's all I can yeah. say is this is some cool shit. It's like one of those yeah. where you realize, like, damn, my little kid self said I want to do this, and then you start doing it, but you don't even realize, well, you know, it's not, you're not where you want to be, but you did kind of accomplish a goal. Right, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, definitely. I mean, like that's that's a that's a, like a moment where you're like, it's a, it was a personal moment where you're like, man, if I go back and tell the the 2007 or whatever, yo, you know, made that proclamation, yo. so like, yo, guess what? You gonna get that? You gonna get that? <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. It's yeah, gonna happen. I mean, stuff like that. So yeah. you know, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not like to the level of working with Denzel or winning the Oscar, but that's a personal, it's a personal milestone. I fucks with. Yeah, it's a personal. Yeah, I, mean, awesome. I did that. And I'm curious yeah. to see what kind of movie this is, because usually if I have, usually if I have at least a few lines, I'll read the script. Because I ain't about to read your whole script, I only got one line. Right. But if I have a few lines, I'm going to read your script. And I do have a few lines in this, and I didn't read the script yet. So I'm not okay. totally sure on what it's about. I just know. You've done this before, like in your, but in your, uh, what do your instincts say? I mean, I know, like, I know the uh, the the breakdown said. Basically, okay. like, there's this like crazy ass drug that hit the market and is making people like kind of go crazy or some shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's having uh -huh. these weird ass effects or whatever. Uh -huh. But um, well, it's a comedy, right? Nah, it's it's sci-fi, sci-fi detective. detective. Oh. It's like it has dark comedic elements mm -hmm. or whatever, but it's not meant to be like this is a comedy. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, and one of my and it's a funny thing watching cast you on the opposite end of because like you know what I mean some of these motherfuckers didn't know their lines I ain't gonna say who uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it wasn't him though it wasn't Mackie okay. you know what I'm Both saying them. but right. it's just yeah. it's just it's just funny being on that end it was like Pretty it was wild. also it was fun oh I broke the, I made them break character a couple of times yeah it was funny because like because. Uh, the director, I remember in an audition, uh, he had me say this line that wasn't in the script. He was just curious how it would come out of my mouth. So mm. I feel like I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of uh, a prof profanity. You are. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have a doctrine in profanity. It's a bit of a skill, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nice. So when he asked me to, he, he wanted me to throw a few motherfuckers and a few extra fucks oh into mm. the audition. You don't give a nigga like me more motherfuckers and some extra fucks to throw up in a motherfucker. Just a bunch of fucks. Oh, God damn. So, I, I, mm. so, so I'm, I made the director's laugh. I ain't going to front when I audition. I think I even told you, Jess. I think I got that one. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because like certain like certain auditions you might think you have, but you didn't. But I don't know. Just some Because I remember doing an audition and it was like, a, they just was laughing. And it was like, we good. You know what I'm saying? So the Jamie Dorn and Anthony Mackie and other people that was in that scene, they didn't know that that line was switched to the motherfucker line that's not there. Mm -hmm. So we, the guy, he, the director, he wanted to do like a couple of run through rehearsals before we do action and shit, Bruh, Them niggas, every time I said that line, they bust out laughing because it was like they couldn't. It was like, what the fuck, yo? That's like, bruh, this direction. I'm just going with it. So that made me like that was one of those like, yeah, bro. Like, I mean, this bitch, nigga, with peers, <laughs> with peers, man. You know what I mean? It was trippy that when. When he first, like, like he introduced some people, he fucked with me from the dump, like, on a, like, I remember I walked in, I think me and him were the only black people, and he was like, okay, what's up, fellow black man, and dapped me off. And I was like, damn, nigga, like, <laughs> you gotta ask the nigga his name, shit. You know I mean? <laughs> we ran that scene a few times, now, nah, what's your name, bro? Now you want to talk and shit. And I was like, oh, what's up, sir? I'm Martin Bradford. We had the same director. Shouts out to Ray. Mm -hmm. You hear I me? Mean? So, you know, it was cool. He was, was, was cool peeps. That's so, really awesome. You hear I me? Mean? And yeah. we got that. We got the improv some shit together. And I thought that was fine, cool because the director was like, he threw some shit in there. And this nigga be gone. That's one thing I say about him. Like, he, he remind, I can say he reminded me of me because that's a, that's a wrong way to put it. Mm -hmm. But it's, I can see why Ray told me that certain shit I would do reminded me of him because certain things he would be doing, I'm like, that's some me shit. You know what I'm right. saying? Even yeah. even even, tendencies, uh, even given like saying we want he want the director wants to improve probably one or two lines. He didn't do one or two. 
And nigga, I'm gonna go back and forth with you, bitch. Like, no, you start in private, I'm gonna start in private, and we're gonna be in this bitch. And poor Jamie had to just stop us and be like, hey, let's <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get up here. Hey, man, you let us go. So it was fun. That was cool. So shouts out to him on actually being cool as shit, too, because, you know, sometimes you meet your quote unquote heroes and. It Complete could be a bad asshole. experience. Yeah. 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 That's that's better put. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't. Yeah. So cool no, that's shit. good. Though. That's yeah. wonderful. But Sips yes. Daiquiri. Sips Daiquiri. So. Yeah. Welcome to the Reviewing That Show, y'all. All right. It's that actor guy, Mr. Bats in the building, you know, back and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, shit. I heard it. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, mm-hmm. it wasn't Marty voice for once. How many weeks have we gone, Marty? Uh, like two. Or like Maybe two three. or three. Like, yeah, two or three at like least. Three. Est- estrogen-less episodes? Yeah, it's mm. been very, very disappointing. Damn. I don't have a partner in crime. I mean, I oh, I wanted guess, to, I wanted sorry. to, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to cry about Gamby. And guess He's what? God, what? She don't know nothing about that. She don't know nothing about that. She don't know nothing about none of that. Uh, okay, I'm anything. sorry. My bad. This sorry. motherfucker has not watched the episode since we last recorded with her. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so she well, don't no, know. No. But on this past episode, you would have had some really good fodder. I can't wait for you to <laughs> see the one that, because. Uh, like yesterday's episode. Yeah, you, okay. introduce yourself when we get into all that shit, man. I'm back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Marty's happy. <laughs> but I don't think the other one is. <laughs> He's not. Introduce yourself so you can get on with this man. So this is Jay, Jay Steele, guys. You bastard. Jay uh, Steele, yeah. aka the filmmaking fat girl foodie, aka oh. fat girl Nola, aka the asshole. The adorable asshole. The adorable there asshole. There you go. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. Your turn. I feel right. Uh, I just want <laughs> to give him the wheezy intro. It's just it's been a while. <laughs> no, I appreciate really? that. Uh, drop, drop sixteen coming uh, 20, 2020. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> drop sixteen, bitch. Squad up. Hope. Anyway, um, this is your favorite host, Marte here. You can uh, find me. On your favorite social media place. Why don't you buy an Alpha Joe moment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. If you're out in the streets, oh no, and you're looking for me, Instagram Alpha Joe no E. Uh, everybody get nice cream this week, baby. Now, I don't know if you've been listening to Fly with Bad. If you know it's yeah, get that bitch wrong. Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm caught up. Only one I haven't heard is the last one. I haven't yeah. heard Side B yet. But I'm like, ah, okay, all right. <laughs> I didn't really give him any shit, but he I'm is, like, one day he has not fucked nah, up since you no ripped him. Nah, I'm like, oh, he been show. He wasn't gonna fuck up. No it more. wasn't. It, no, okay. All right, wait. wait. <laughs> I binged him, and it was like back to back. I just, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to say something. Uh-huh. But yes, um, you can find me Marty M A R T Y Edwards five zero four on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap at the chat. Also go to lowrainpictures.com where I co-host the show there with. Uh, what's, his name? what's his name? Uh, yeah, it, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I closed the show there with the arrogant observer. He's he's probably mad now, but he ain't gonna hit it, so don't worry about it. Hit it, so don't worry about don't it. Don't even worry okay. about it. But check it out. Appreciate y'all your podcasting, uh, uh, playing stuff. That's what we that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. So you know, on reviewing that show, we review a bunch of different things dealing with you know the shit that we like to watch, shit that we into. Whether we talking comics, whether we talking sci fi, whether we talking thriller. A lot of times we talking black shit. You know, we we <laughs> talk that shit, we run that shit, and we get it in. You feel me? Um, but what I was about to say was, I thought of both of you on the. Oh yeah, guys, we, we're gonna be reviewing that lightning on the next episode. No, no black lightning this week. Shouts out to you, Kevin K. Jack, because I know you out there like yes. Huh? But uh, um, it's about time. I thought about y'all <laughs> watching the most recent episode because these two fuckers haven't seen it, and yeah. there's a legit, a legit Gamby talking <laughs> like he's whining scene. I and I was like, I can't. Oh, they're gonna light his ass up because I want yeah. to light him up. And it was a really good scene. But even at the face, he had he was full blown whining Gamby mode talking to Nissa. He ain't always yes, angry. This is just internal. Kind of. He's hot. <laughs> 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 just even when he ain't doing it, he's still doing he's still it. Yeah, doing I put it. it on him even when I don't, even when he doesn't do it. It's he's like I still it. hear it that way. It's not his fault, but it is. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Bitch ass. Oh my God. Leave my Gamby alone. No. She's I got... still why you so mean. Because you're a bitch. Uh, bitch, you ain't nigga. So, 
I'm reviewing that, you man. You miss me, Jason. <laughs> no, I am not. These Go home. Wherever that is. <laughs> Get the fuck. He's going to die. Good. And go. you don't... Oh, man. Shit, I'm ready. You won't let this go. So, uh, yeah, once again, hit us up at reviewingdat at gmail.com, man, with any anything that you want to have us watch, anything that you want to comment on, any street questions Kings. being asked, uh, or if you want to make us watch Street Kings, because you know Marty been trying to get that popping. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to make a fake email address account and, and email us and say, hey, you know that Marty guy, he seems like he knows what he's talking about. I think you guys should watch Street King. <laughs> if, if I see any tonality that reminds me of you, bitch, I'm going to lie, you motherfucker. Hey, y'all, it's not Marty. And I'm, I'm going to put a wink at the end of it, too. Yeah, this is, uh, my name is Barty. Yeah, Barty yeah. Bedwards. Barty and Bedwards. I'm, <laughs> and I'm just, you know, writing in. Long time listener, first time writing. Uh, yeah. I think you guys should watch Street King. But yeah, guys, so I'm reviewing that, man. We, we start off with some generals, then we get into some, you know, DC, some Marvel, and whatever the main event gonna be. Today's main event, we're gonna be getting into that Sorry to Bother You. Me and Jay still finally got a chance to catch it. It's on Hulu right now, y'all. This movie. We're not getting into it yet, Jay. Would you just, we're not, we're not like, jumping into it. No, early thoughts already. You gotta. Oh, precurse please, that go bit. Precurse that bit. What the fuck? That's how you feel? Yes. Okay. Like, what the fuck, there. in a good way? I don't know. Or a bad way? Okay, that's, that's, that's okay too. I mean, you can you can feel things. Yeah. <laughs> it was a journey with this movie, so I'm just really at the end of it. Like, it was a journey. Oh shit! Oh what wow! What happened? I so want. Anyway, oh yeah, sorry. I can't wait for this. I I yeah, got words man. for sorry to bother you. I can't, you know, like you said, I can't wait. Yeah, and I don't. You and that's the thing. About, oh I shit! I can finally listen to y'all's review of it now. Oh, okay. Because I didn't listen to it because I didn't uh, want to get spoiled. Yeah. So now that no, I've it's seen great it, that you did. Yeah. Now that I've seen <laughs> it, now I can listen to you guys. Is uh, uh, your thirty also reviewed this uh, when it came out? Um, so I haven't seen it. Are we gonna do it like the, the, the traditional way? We're gonna throw it up in the background. Yeah, we can throw okay. it up in the background. All right, we ain't gonna necessarily follow it like oh ver- verbatim. Like, verbatim, because we scene, got other okay. things that we're gonna be getting into. Cool, but cool. just any like I'm gonna have it in the background. When we get to the main event just All for right. fresher purposes. You know what I mean? Because I know y'all reviewed it months ago, like when it first dropped. Yeah. So me and Jay I, gonna be much fresher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Way just fresher. just a little reminder. Like, yeah. This morning. So that's the main event, folks. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this morning. Okay. Yeah, no, like this afternoon oh, for my damn self. Like, yeah, yeah, I just finished it because uh, okay. we we started it uh, last night. I want to uh, say yes, and um, I was high as fuck and fell asleep on her ass, and I was left alone. Did you finish when it? When it started unfolding, and oh. I was so scared. I was like, "What is?" But like, I was it in between trippy, sleep, yeah. and I was a little. I'm with an influence, so I was just confused, and I had to turn it off. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to watch this alone." Yeah. I don't know what's I happening. fell asleep before it went left because everybody told me. Most people that see this movie have told me that um, they dug it and then it went left. I really and after talk it went this. left. Just, they, that's they didn't where want you fuck with it no more. Yeah, see, and I, I want to talk I, to anybody that once it went left, they dug it. Yeah, myself, and I will explain yeah. how and why because it's a thing too. I think I rode the ride longer than most, but I the end didn't fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like, because at first we, we ain't even talking about we, that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not yeah. there yet, so we're yeah, gonna yeah. main event gonna be sorry to bother you folks. <laughs> but uh, you know, while we're in generals, man, my dog Marty did some real homework. I did, man. I did some extra credit. Najee nah, gave him some homework, <laughs> and he homework. did that. That you weren't here, Jay, but we got we had an email from our girl Najee. Hi, and, and one of um, and she said hello to you too. And uh, one of her things was she was asking us if we could cover any more anime. And you know, uh, you know, we some Death Note fans over here, but Marty hadn't jumped into it. Did we finish Death Note? Did you finish it? Yes. Very end. Yes. The uh, right, anime cool. you finish it? Yes. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, um, so Marty, how how how's it hanging, dog? Tell me about your current Death Note experience. Last time we talked to Marty on the last episode, he had only made it to maybe episode two or three and yeah. wasn't wasn't wow. on board yet. Yeah, what? it was two, and I was not on board. No. Now where are you? I am on episode 31. Or Not anymore. We watched now. that bitch. Yeah, we watched. We I finished just turn 31. this off in the background as a matter Yeah, of actually, that. you should. You should. <laughs> um, I am currently on 31. Um, 32, bitch. 32. I'm sorry. Yeah, 32. <laughs> yeah, thank Damn. you. Thank you. Yeah. Was Come on, God damn it. He was 31 when he walked in. His name is Lee, God off. damn it. His name is Lee. <laughs> I don't know what that reference is from. Oh, so that's what. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Got me. Got me. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, first couple episodes. Yeah, it took me a second to kind of get into it. But 
once I did get into it, I I, I sort of stepped out of myself while because I, I do most of most of the binging I did was on my computer, mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of stepped out of myself and saw myself sitting in the chair and wanted to make fun of myself because I, I feel like I turned into the person I always make fun of because I never really watched anime really right yeah. Right. But my cousins did. I uh, always had friends at school and stuff that did. And I was just like the image that I would have of my cousin in his room late at night in the dark. And just, um, you know, the end of the episode would, would, would come on and then it would be this foreign language loud rock song that played. And it's yeah, like, all of them in like Yeah, and it's just like, and you're sitting there looking at him, it's like, you don't know a word they're saying. Don't matter. And it's, it, it really doesn't. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. once you turn into that guy, it mm -hmm. really, really doesn't. Mm -hmm. I could sing the words, you and I have no idea. Bitch, yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, but, oh, so, uh, you were right. You, uh, you said about episode five is coming. Get to that point. And then you'll be somewhat hooked, right? Yeah, At least you'll want to know what happens. That's next. my next question. What was yeah. your hook? What, what brought you in? It was about five. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you remember what happened that made it go like, you know what, I'm on board. Oh, dude. You know what? Um, no. Because, <laughs> because so the first couple days, it was like one or two episodes, one or two episodes. And then you get to that five point, And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Well, what are we going to do next? And then you just kind of keep going, and you just keep going, and the next thing you know, you're at 31. And you're at 31. Yeah. Um, and it's just so, I will say that my experience, the most the most part is, I enjoy Light as Kira. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. for me, where the show shines. Mm -hmm. um, there's a long stint um, in the latter part, I imagine, of season one. Maybe not, maybe somewhere in the middle, even. But there's a stint where we get light. Mm -hmm. Minus the the Kira uh, aspect, like all his memories and stuff Pause. that is removed. Paul's got two things to say. Pause okay. got two things to say. Right. One, for me, see, it's gonna be different for you because you saw the movie, so you already right. knew that certain oh, things. No. He saw the movie for that. Oh, oh. So it, you already knew certain things. Yeah. So since I'm way before the movie, the reason why I always tell people to get to episode five is because that's when you know L, you know Light, and you also know that Light's dad is a cop. Mm -hmm. To me, when I found out. That in all this craziness, Light's dad is the cop that's chasing him. That's when I got hooked. Because Elle and him was already intriguing to me. The two geniuses. Yeah. But Light, your dad chasing you and y'all under the same fucking room. You know I mean? Roof. So I'm like, yo, where is this going? Like that, that, That's what I always say. Because to me, that's what all of the pieces are, in, are in place. Now True. we see where Light is. We see where, where L is. We see the dad. You know what I mean? And that's to me where it takes off. Fair enough. You know, that that was a if 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 for me I can't ex see I can't even remember because once I got to the point where I was binging it, I was literally watching six episodes and not really clear that I was watching six episodes. Yeah. The only thing that told me I saw six is that I looked at how many episodes I had passed and I looked at the time. Yeah, you get sucked into it. It's really good. Yeah, and it's deceiving just, because it's twenty two minute ups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And still, when before I get to my second point, that's piggybacking off what you just said pre previously. Uh -huh. What hooked you when you first watched Death Note? What, what was it's the It's been a minute, and I moment? feel like it was just so much that happened in the show. Um, right. I think I was kind of so from the beginning. Whoa, okay. Because I'm very mm. morbid, and the whole concept of having a <laughs> book of death, mm -hmm. I was so... And I like anime. Like, I, I, I've I, dabbled in anime uh, throughout my life, so, like, I'm not one of these, like, hard up, can name all this, these different and all. But, right. like, I've always been aware and, like, not against it, so, I mean, I was kind of with it from the beginning. Mm. Um, right. But I think the point that I was really sold at, I don't know if there was a particular point. I think I was just riding with it and it just kept getting better and better and better. Probably when he said, I will grab a chip and yes. eat it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All this oh, epicness every time he's by himself. Are we really yeah. going to do this? I like, the, like, no, I like really the extraness. That yeah. pulled me in. I'm like, oh, this he's, is just so, like, this is just so dramatic, much. Right? <laughs> Delete. Very dramatic. So much. <laughs> Delete. Very dramatic. But um, now the second thing, uh, what you just, what you touched on is something I brought up in the first episode that I'm glad you brought up about how when Light's memories come back when at there's a certain point and where he doesn't have the death note anymore and he's back to being Light. Yeah. And remember on the last episode I said, man, and there's this, it, I told you there's a point that comes where it makes you have to ask yourself, did the death note corrupt him or was he already fucked up? Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. when he was himself, he even was surprised at who he was. And he was like, could I have been? Yeah, he's also questioning himself. Right. Like, and he was like, yeah. damn, if he did, this would be evil. It's like, it almost made you feel like, so 
what went wrong? Like, what yeah. happened? You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. that was a very, like I said, this this story hits every angle that you could think of. So by the end of it, you're just sitting there like, okay. Because that is interesting to wonder, who, how would he judge himself? If, yeah. if his original, what before, like, it, it just... There's, ah. there's a, so I'm, I imagine, I want to say from the very beginning, this is spy versus spy, but yeah. the more we get, the more that gets unveiled about L, it's sort of, he becomes, to me personally, the most interesting character of the entire show. Mm-hmm. He's, he's D Mac's favorite character in anime, period. Is he really? Okay, yeah. fair enough. I could see that. Yeah, he's D Mac's right? favorite anime character. And, and, I bring up D Mac because he's the one who introduced me to Death Note. Okay, fair enough. So, um, with that notion in mind, watching this thing like week to week or however it's released, going from one season with him there to one without, I'd be like, well, yeah. listen, yeah, there, it, without L, there is no death note. It, it, uh, you it, know what I mean? It was a bad loss. That was a hard loss. Because you, you riding was... from the beginning with this, like you said, spy versus spy. It's like, in a way, the children of L are now going at light in the, towards the I end. Like but that. I mean, it's still, you still craving L. Right. So this, this, this so it, yeah. If, if, I can't give you a defining moment um, because I, I think I got hooked without even knowing. It's sort of like, I got hooked, like, in, in a second and then I was ready to jump into dive, you know, into the deep end head first. Yeah. So I can't really give you a defining moment, but I will say that when it became L versus Kira or L versus Light, however we're looking at it. Yeah. Um, that's really what what got from what got it from me. And then they then they doubled down on that. And turn them into friends. Yeah, they, you, <laughs> you know they become friends. Yeah, Friendies, for real. Because they were because that's the thing from the very beginning they respected each other like no other. It's like right. that thin line between love and hate shit. Like light when when L first propositioned him, light was like, oh, I got a real threat. You know what I mean? The reason L took this on was because he only takes on the super cases, difficult, the yeah. difficult ones. So for the mere fact of this whole situation for the both of them, for the both of them, like it was already respect in that quote unquote hatred. So. It was surprising that they went that route to have them become friends, but right. it, it 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 just was it was it was kind of like not surprising to when you think about it on paper that they would be though. Yeah, no, it's not surprising. Yeah, because they, they, they are students, <laughs> but they are like sort of what's the what's the word uh two something cut cut from the same cloth or whatever. Yeah. Two peas in a pie. Two peas mm-hmm. in a pie. Yeah, they they are. they are very similar. You know, mm-hmm. so it it would make sense that they would they would sort of get along in that way. You especially know, the or light challenge that, each especially other. Especially the uncorrupted light. The right. Uncor- right. Yeah. Right. And um and it just yeah I don't know I, I really really dug that aspect of it like the the whole you know spy versus spy and. And the the links like this show, um, like this first season or maybe even first fifteen episodes, like its brand is clever. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I went on a mini rant today when I recorded earlier with Lawrence to our arrogant observer saying, um, I understand that you know Netflix making a live action version of this. You got to call it Death Note. You mm-hmm. got to have Ryuk. Mm-hmm. You got to have Light because those are the name. Those are the brand recognition names. You need those things. You need L. You got to have these things in order for people to even give a shit, right? Um, the minute you say we're doing Death Note and we're doing our own story, yeah, a couple people be like, yeah, yeah, I respect the originality, da 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 da. But marketing people here, oh shit, that that means we've 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 lost a, a bunch of our audience. It's like this, the movie. To my memory, is is so much smaller in scope than the uh, than the anime sort of grew into. Really, um, it's just so disappointing. And um, I mean, they explained in the montage in the movie that he was going, he, that he had blown across, across the world. The it was, was like so, you know what I mean? They 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 made, they made you have to kind of put the the pieces together that he got big, but. I stand like by. Those, I stand by what I said. Last, what you about to say? My bad. Oh no! I was, what I was just gonna say is that it, it's just a, a pure example of you. You have this much time in a movie, mm-hmm. and you have all the time in the world. It seems they should have planned a show. for a trilogy, dog. Yeah. They didn't, dude. You could you could have did the first movie just Light versus L, um, leading up to even be like just Light versus L and possibly up to the Ray Pember situation. 
Whereas uh, you got this cop now trailing you and his, you, just, you know what I mean? And that whole story That's was crazy. That's not even in the movie, right? That's not even in the movie. That is so dope. And that was cool to watch and, that. And uh, she with his wife yeah. too. And yeah, his girl with his too wife. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, how she went out? Dude. Yo. Because she fucking knew. <laughs> and she was like, she knew, she knew how to play it every step of the way. That it was, was just the, one. He fucking light her, light as fuck. Light. He's light is a up. genius. He had, he's he a had sociopath. He's dog. a fucking genius. You watch the you watch the growing cycle, <laughs> psycho become. But what I was about to say is before that is I stand by a dog. They could have just sold it off the name and rebuke and said from dump. This is a continuation of this because that's what's happening with Men in Black right now. The new Men in Black with Tessa Thompson and uh, Thor uh, called is gonna be called Men in Black International. Not, I, I don't feel like that's. I don't feel. I feel like that's different because Tessa Thompson and 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 uh, Chris Hemsworth have built a brand. That's fine. They're both, and that's they're just fine. implanting their brand in the in but the series. But what I'm saying is, Men in it's Black. Like, it's Men in Black. Still, they gonna have the the concept of Men in Black is so broad that you can believe that they're you worldwide. Could do it. Yeah, you can't because they're gonna they're stationed in in, in, in England. Yeah. They're the England branch of the Men in Black. Yeah. See what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's what they're going to do. That's where they're going with okay, it. So, like, right. JK yeah. existed, but that was in America. Um, <laughs> look at their names. Agent H and M. <laughs> they're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. Agent H and M. They're going to be doing the shit in London. So, like, the same shit could happen with Death Note, dog. This, this is an American. Death, Light was in Japan, bruh. So in America, some nigga named um, Darren or whatever could have got the death note and tell your own fucking story, dog. I think they could have got away with it. it if they viewed so on Netflix and it still would have got the same numbers because the majority of people that watch it on Netflix ain't never seen the anime. And the people who seen the anime ain't going to fuck with this adaptation from the very beginning. So you would appease them by acknowledging, guess what? This ain't the life story. This is the Darren story. And most of us would have just accepted, well, that was Darren's story. One as cool as Light's, but still, this was I mean, Darren's. Yeah, Light was a genius. Darren's... That would have been fun. Exceptional. And go super hard and make it like really dark and evil. This is the book of death. I mean... Okay. They could do question. that. If they made a sequel to question. Death Note, we don't have to follow Light no more, but apparently we will because they have been greenlit for the sequel. Oh my live after sequel. This is about to be awful. What oh you saying, question? Uh, so, <laughs> I know Light's a genius, right? Yeah. He's Mensa level. Uh, Mensa. <laughs> yes, he right? is. Yes, he um, is. But in, in realistic terms, is the is it a cultural thing where I just don't believe that they would hire they would bring in a high school student to work on a uh a You weren't in high school anymore. You went in high school. He was, he was in college. college. He was in college, right? He, yeah. he right there. He was in college like, for a couple of years he and was. he had the advantage of being the chief's son. See, okay, that's another thing. Time sort of for me, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention. It'd be passing. But it'd be mo oh, shit. It'd be that, passing. Like it's it's going flash. That boy sister it's passing in the flash uh uh level. That boy you know, sister went from being little to being big. <laughs> yeah. And, and then oh boy who cut his fro and stuff too. Like his daughter was like a little kid when she was coming to hug him when he was when he left the task force. Mm -hmm. And it's like she's a grown kid granted we're in another season now. That's what I'm saying. Point. Time be but, passing, dog. Yeah. Like, that's another thing when you're watching a live action film. It's like my dude, like You can't do the same. I'm saying if you want to adapt the light story for America, as I said just a few minutes ago, <laughs> then do the if you're gonna not do the Darren story, you're gonna do the light story, break it up. You have to do the whole deal. You could done, like I said, because the Ray Pember one is interesting by itself. Um, lighting him becoming friends is interesting. Even the new, even the fake when when the corporation, that's a whole nother movie. When the corporation get the death note, that's a whole nother movie. And you try to suss out who got that bitch. You can elongate shit to a degree with your writing that could have still nigga, you could have went some films off if you would have just stepped to the script and cast differently. Cause once again, not nah, you've been watching the show, how you feel about that live action bitch. Um I think that He's awful. Because um, <laughs> Light is such a genius. He's mm -hmm. moving at light speed compared to this this guy we got in the movie. Now, and, and I did click on it. I didn't finish it because, um, I don't know, it, it kind of just, it broke my heart just in the first, like, five or six minutes where <laughs> Light kind of jumps into, like, somebody's getting his ass kicked and Light decides he's going to intervene and jump in and get his ass, ass kicked kick. in the process. Right. And I'm just like, well... What? You clearly didn't have a plan, so you're not my light. Uh, my light got hands. Anybody? My light. Remember, remember him, L? Yeah, him and L? Yes. My light got Multiple hands. Multiple times. Come on, son. And I'm just like, this is. He's just not my L. 
My light. He's, oh, my, my light. I'm sorry. He's not my. He's not my light. L. I mean, I don't remember much. I want to go back and I, I didn't That's get to the that only portion. thing I liked about it because I'm obsessed with Lakeith Stanfield, and I do feel like there were parts of the character that he got right and parts that he got wrong. Okay. I feel like when we first met him, I was like, oh, okay, like you're like you doing from it. The anime. Yeah. But then as it got further along, I'm like, okay, this is not. Yeah, this is bullshit writing. And I, that's that you said it right on the nose. I think it was the writing that fucked. Because he, for me, he shit. was the only like shining jewel of the entire thing. And Ryuk, Willem Dafoe, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But those two right there, like yeah, they, was, they were fire. I was happy with them. That was it. Sorry. We and there was only one uh, Shimigami in um, in the movie. Right? And then that's another thing we didn't even get into the. Damn, you know how much one. shit, how much fodder we have for multiple movies ever got, and then the point another Shimigami. Shimigami, the lady yeah. one, I forgot her name. There's like three Grim. that pop up yeah. over time. Mm-hmm. Grim, yeah, because then the third one. Yeah, I forget another his one. name. Another yeah. one was around. Yeah, he comes because like Ryuk steals his book or something so, like yeah, that. Yeah, so he yeah. hunted down Ryuk because that's how Ryuk had two books. And that was good writing because they didn't explain. They they, they kind of hinted that we had to have two books, but then they played paid it off. Well, yeah, he stole one right. and shit. So it was like, buku shit, dog. It's just, I'm so let down. Every time I think about the movie and think about the show. The fact that they're going back to that well, though, when it was a catastrophe the first time. It's and, so disrespectful. And that, but that seems to be the general consensus, though. But in Netflix go off them back. hits, bro. They go off them hits. But was it Numbers. Hit? That's how Bright... No, numbers. That's how Bright got a sequel. Numbers. If you pull in numbers... People genuinely like Bright. I mean, we didn't hate it, but it was genuinely like it. Well, okay. I mean, in terms of the, I'm more not sure of we the, can find somebody that likes Death Note. The not of the, yeah, well, not of the, so not necessarily of a, of a critic uh, standpoint. You're talking about the average person, yeah. the average person just watching it, regular just people like, did like, yeah, it. I just clicked on it because it was free. It was, it, yeah. was, it was Christmas you know, Day. Most muggles, on it. most muggles like it. I give you that. Most muggles do because if you go to like the critical people in or the people, case, a muggle is a dumbass. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. <laughs> like this movie, you suck. Are you, oh, you talking about Bright? Are you talking about Death Note? I'm talking Death Note. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I was still okay. on Death Note. Okay, okay. sorry. Not no. Bright. Bright okay, is cool. 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 Okay. But uh, yeah, because it wasn't horrible. It's just, it was, yeah. It just was whatever. It was but um, was, what yeah. else happened in Death Note? Well, I should be asking you since you're the newer watcher of it, man. What else come to mind from that thing? Uh, well, from the uh, show or from the movie? The show. The man. show. Okay, yeah. From so from the show. Um, like I said, that and you big... see, wait, pause. Just one last thing in the movie. Mm-hmm. Their Misa is more light than the light that we got in the film. Oh yeah, she was that bottle. Mia, I mean Mia in the movie. Oh, I don't. I didn't really get a lot of her when we, cause she just sort of comes and I don't. Oh God, I mean, it's just so bad. I don't know. I really focused on like she did show up for a second, but not enough to really make an impression. But yeah, from what I remember of the movie, yes. I mean, but oh, also I mean, now do me the, a favor. the tree that was standing outside of the school was yeah. more like <laughs> than like it was. You know what I'm saying in comparison? <laughs> but uh, you know, in terms of strength, do me a favor. Um, now but, that you yeah. now that you've seen the anime, whenever you have real time, mm-hmm. go back and listen to our review of the movie. Oh no, now that's my that plan. You, <laughs> now that you now now you can yeah. understand what we're saying more. Yeah, but continue. Definitely man. the plan. Um, yeah, uh, losing. Um, so basically, yeah, love the L and light Kira dynamic, all that good stuff. Like the whole, like just the the thought process behind all of this. It's like not just it. It really is the writing because mm-hmm. yeah, we, we we wrote a brilliant fucking character, but also too we took the time to meticulously think these things out too, to write them, to put them into the script. None, you know, the shit that you easy. gotta keep going on in your head yeah. to keep that shit together on paper is. It's just, you're doing a juggling act with nothing. Nothing you know came I mean? easy because any time somebody made a move, whatever the most obvious reaction was, that motherfucker always knew. Like, they, every time Light made a move, L always had the right answer. Every yeah. time L made a move, Light always had the right counter. It's like, you would always feel like these people are smarter than me because I wouldn't have thought to do the things that they thought to do. Yeah. That nigga would have got me. I would have got murdered by him long, long time ago. He has a plan B, plan C, plan C. Both point of two, them. Both point of three. them. Yeah. Everybody's sort of like they're working. They're working at light speed, which is no, you know really no really pun. dope. No pun. <laughs> <laughs> losing losing L though was was uh, oh. was just I did not see it coming, mm-hmm. and I didn't believe it too. I also thought 
L's fucking with us. He's sitting somewhere. And then we go through that whole thing where it's just like, oh, so some, some time has passed. Um, light is a new L. Uh, that yeah, was crazy. Him. Yeah. Whoa. yeah, and light I'm just like, a new L. so, and then, and then other people get the news at the orphanage and whatnot. And that news starts to spread around the L, that the uh, original L is dead. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, uh, holy shit, I think they really killed him. Merp. Uh, yeah, and then yeah. it just becomes clear, and, and then the show kind of sucks for a couple episodes, because yeah. I'm mad at it yeah. that it actually did that. Um, the, and then, you know, yeah, I kind of jump back in, and, uh, you know, we are. You, you gotta know, finish it are. out. You got a few more left, yes. man. Uh, another heartbreaking uh, situation here was his dad. Light and dad mm-hmm. whole arc. How his dad was doing everything he could to prove that his son wasn't Kira. And then, yeah. you know what I mean, at the very end, he thinking that he's seeing... That he's not Kira, but that was still all. It just still lies. Yeah. Oh my god! Man. <laughs> like the writing that they put in the show. That's all. Like we keep on, we just keep on echoing. Like great writing. Great well, writing. It was clear though that at at a certain point, I can't remember when. Uh, maybe when they go into that lock up stage where it's like they get locked up for like sixty days or so. But um, it becomes painfully clear that no matter what. Um, Pops has got uh, lights back, no yeah. matter if he's Kira or not. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And I, that's that's to me that's the heartbreaking thing is that even if he did didn't see or even if he found out that he was Kira in his last moments, still would have loved him, still would have rode for him. You think would've, he would have hurt his? You what? think he wouldn't have arrested him though on his deathbed? I, nah, not on his deathbed. But I think he would have alerted somebody that lights. I think he would have went for justice until the. My man said. I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have either. Mm-hmm. My man said specifically at one point, whether no matter what the outcome is, I'm leaving here with my son. He did say that. You're yeah. Absolutely right. <laughs> no matter what. You're absolutely right. You're right absolutely right. Yeah. You're right. I, 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 the the, 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 the That's all. <laughs> folks. Yeah. 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 But um. But yeah. No. That that definitely very heartbreaking. Um. But but also cool. A cool journey to go on. Yeah. <laughs> heartbreaking. But like that's. It's kind of what you tune in for, right? You know what I mean? Right. Um, to feel something. Something that's, something that's gonna stick yeah. with you. Something yeah, something that's gonna, gonna stick with stick you, make an impression. And it and it did, yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to getting to the end. I just um, respectfully, if I can say this in a respectful way, because you know every time you say respectfully, it's probably not gonna be very respectful. It's what you can say? Say it. It's okay. I don't like this new. Uh, I don't like this uh, Nim or near near. I don't like him. I don't like his little. I don't like his little blonde brother, or whatever the hell he is. Uh, I don't like him either. Mellow. I don't like Mellow either. Mellow can take can kiss my ass. Mellow. I don't like, I don't like them too. either. Oh, you don't like him either. I wanted to punt kick him like a football. I do. I was just kind of like, I, yeah, hope you, I, I really hope you can either. kill these these folks because I don't. I don't like them. They're like they they're, they're L split in two, and I want my L as L. That's yeah, one. I want but I didn't. By the end of by the end of the series, I've dug them more than I did from when they first came. Because mm-hmm. you're absolutely right. When L dies, there's just a backlash in your body. So when these fake L's pop up, you're like, mm, whatever, nope. niggas. I want my real L. But yeah. by the but by the end of the series, especially when I watch it back, are you satisfied? I, I well, see, when you watch it the first time, you have your your first reaction. But when I watch it back again, because I've seen it multiple times at this point. Okay. Um, I, I I fuck with Nier and and Mello. Funny enough, it's just because I've seen the whole series and I see how everything land, and because I have now a reverence for it, so it could just do no wrong. So even y'all fucked up niggas, you know what? I like you too, bro. It's your bitch ass. Well, <laughs> what I <laughs> what I wanted to tell you too. Well, okay, so now I can say it now. I wanted to tell you when I walked in. I said I was gonna hold it in. Uh, you told me to at least. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wanted to text you at certain points, and I think had I done that, we would have had a clearer uh, uh, idea of when I got hooked and, and stuff true like that. Because there were moments where I was just like, well, I'm not going to text him now because I don't know how far I'm going to get next time I see him. And then by the time I get there, it's 31, and I'm just like, oh, shoot. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. I'm almost mm-hmm. done. Almost Who done. There's all, once again, yeah. folks, 37 episodes we be spoiling in this shit, but you know what the fuck we talking about. Yep. If you ain't watched it, go watch it. If you ain't finished it, go, go finish it. it. You know what I mean? If you ain't yeah. seen it in a long time, that bitch is sitting on Netflix. Put that thing on. It is worth it. We are we are, we are followers Put of the death on. note. We are followers of the death note. Yeah, the the, yep. this is some general news going on out here in these nerd ass streets. You mm-hmm. heard about celebrity death match coming back? Oh my god, what? No. With Ice Cube as the uh, at the helm. Why? MTV and Ice Cube have come together. And it's it's coming back, and I'm very curious I'm to see how it's gonna that. pop off. A reimagined return. I was a fucking fan of Celebrity Deathmatch. That was match. one of those things I wasn't so allowed to it. watch. Oh, I was really little, and I had to sneak it. 
Yeah, you're young. Yeah, you're young. Yeah, you're young. Yeah. I was about to get this so I really. I knew it was going to be you. Yeah. I just wanted to remind you that y'all were old. <laughs> oh, shit. I heard it coming, too. I'm like, oh, I'm always I looking for a way. Like, you had to be what? I'm no, you. no, for real, Good though, for I really did have to sneak it because I wasn't okay. allowed. Well, it was a shit. We was like I, in high I school, it. college, when it was like I was, popular. If not high school, junior high, yeah. You definitely. know what I mean? It, um, it was some shit. Yeah. I remember, I remember just watching it, but it was part of my interview lineup. I was a fan. You, I, I wasn't a huge... Now, I wasn't a huge fan because sometimes they would like just have people. I'm like, I'm not really familiar with this person. I I would know one person and not the other. And then, like, you know, it just eventually I just kind of fell out of it uh, for the most part. But I did kind of start with it pretty strong. And then the more references I would not get just kind of being a little younger. Yeah. Um, I just, you know. I, like I didn't really under, I didn't really know who Joan Rivers was when I like when I think back on it, I'm like yeah, watching it now I feel like I probably have a lot more appreciation for it basically most so likely I think I'll probably I'll probably enjoy it this time around because I about to say I didn't have that problem dog it's like no. I felt like I knew most of these people but they I but then you did bring to my attention that there were just certain people as a kid you just don't know and they have these and one one of the hilarious things is the end jokes and if you don't get the end joke it's not as as potent it's not, but yeah but but the brutality just went. Sometimes that that was fun in its own. You know what I mean? In the commentary, I don't know. I was a big fan. Though. I'm just. But one thing that this is also showing us about our culture. Once again, we're in the age of no ideas original. Like it says, True. everything must get rebooted and relaunched and reflipped and re 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 re. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm re-re. saying? Yeah. But hey, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what goes down when it happens. Um. Also, I want to touch bases on man. It's going on MTV. It's going to be on MTV. Okay. All right. Ron Burgundy got a podcast coming out. Ron, the <laughs> <laughs> the character. <Stop. laughs> Wait, because at first my brain was like, "Oh, Ron Howard, I love him. He's one of my favorite." Then you said Burgundy. Nope. I'm like, "Wait, Ron Burgundy. what? Ron Burgundy. Like, Ron Burgundy. Will Ferrell's <laughs> Will Ferrell's Anchorman character. Will Ferrell's Anchorman's character is oh, gonna be uh, getting a podcast. Uh, Will Ferrell's gonna do the whole thing in, in association with uh, Funny or Die, Not Hard Radio. Okay. And um, and yeah. what's it gonna? He's gonna like interview people or he's gonna be talk. He gonna, he gonna be talking that Rob Burgundy shit. No, I guess. Dog. Like, is he gonna be talking Rob Burgundy shit in twenty? Damn. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued I, I, I'm to go, see how yeah. he's gonna flip this whole. This whole endeavor, because how many in? How, I think it's gonna be the first of its kind. Like a, a, a successful character will be stepping out of its world, but still reacting to our yeah. world in character, like That's, that. Uh, and then he's a news guy, so imagine him in, as himself running real ass news. Oh shit, that'll be fun. Okay, wow. You know what? Now, now that, I'm really that's intrigued. Colbert level shit. That I You know what? I I listen to that. I I, I throw that in the rotation. Um, the podcast is set to launch on iHeartRadio and will be available for your listening pleasure in early 2019. My um, second say uh, funny or die. It will be 12 episode order and will follow. It will follow. Perhaps follow his fellow anchorman. With, oh wait, and perhaps his fellow anchorman will make guest appearances on the show. Um, it's the, imagine what like Steve Carell where he had his career if he came back as Brick. If uh, Paul Rudd, like that's the thing. You look back at like all these niggas kind of blue. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, in their own, in their own. Right. Yeah, yeah. Steve. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. Look at right. the squad. Think about yeah, the yeah. squad and Anchorman, Ant Man, and fucking fuck. Yeah. Who the fuck is the forty year old version? <laughs> like, who do we know? Like, who does everybody know him synonymously? I forget. I don't know his name on the Office. But he blew on the Office. He blew yeah. on forty year old version. Wow. And if you think back on forty year old version, that they had Romani, Romani Malco and Kevin Hart one of his first film roles. Oh yeah. Like that's it's trippy when you see what people start from, dog. This your nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we rep the same small tech, nigga. That's right. That's my nigga. All right, I'm gonna come back and clap. I love both what- of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga with both of you son, niggas. <laughs> it's just funny watching where motherfuckers be coming from, son. Oh, shit. So yeah. like, I would love to yeah. hear Rob Burgundy, like you know, give me some, give me some movies, give me some, give me some talkity talk. I, you, you actually, you pitched. I, I don't know if that's what they have in mind, but you definitely pitched one hell of a uh, podcast. So, I, yeah, they, 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 we'll they, they do. only twelve, so they ain't gonna make you get uh, tired of it either. Yeah, they're not gonna uh, outstay their welcome, and it's like it's a small commitment for them. You know what I'm saying? You can still do other shit too, but I mean, you could like podcast anywhere. So it's like I wonder what they got in mind here. This is this be interesting. Yeah. I'm curious. Um, Shang Chi's getting a movie. He's a Marvel character that's supposedly one of the best, if not the premier, martial artist aside from Iron Fist. I never read a Shang Chi comic. I just know he. 
I don't know nothing about them. <laughs> but basically, you got Marvel basically trying to capitalize off the Black Panther situation, man. Like, after uh, Crazy Rich... Trying to get minorities? Nigga, Crazy Rich Asians was crazy. Nigga, oh, yeah. Money. That is right. So you already know, dog. You about to introduce the first superhero Asian-led film ever, son. Like, dude, you're going to get that whole market right. This is how we ride for Black Panther. Whatever that nigga hand motion is, all the Asian people going to be doing that motherfucking hand motion, nigga. All oh, he got, all they got to do is make it kick you ass think they and go, fun. Yeah, they, they fucking... I mean, if you put just... All you got to do is just put it in the right hands and step back. Marvel is the right hands. Right. Well, you know what oh, I'm saying? No, no, it's no. A no Marvel I mean, flick. Marvel definitely... Um, Cause you know they'll they'll be like, oh well, we gotta have these moments. They don't lose but, now, and they're saying they're gonna do just like Black Panther, find an Asian American director. Exactly. So, look, and they is Asian American. They say Asian, so they're gonna get them an Asian director. They're gonna do it correctly. So I'm I'm very excited to see how this pops off, where this goes, because I'm like I I'll, I like all people. Will, I, 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 I think we said this on the last episode of Fly with Bass, bro. Off the dump, all people of color are pretty much in the same boat. Especially when you look at how media portrays us all. So whether it's an Asian character getting his just do, or a Hispanic character like uh, Blue Beetle keep out of getting his just do, or Arab like Miss Marvel, the new the Miss Marvel right now is Arab in the comics because uh, you know Captain Marvel used to be Miss Marvel when she became Captain Marvel. Uh, this Arab chick uh, became Miss Marvel, her old moniker, okay. and this chick here she's like a scrawler, scroll or something. And um, yeah, so all these they got all these characters to mine from from all kind of diverse uh, angles. So like yeah, I'm I'm very excited to see how uh, Marvel come. I was gonna ask. Um, I don't know if this is on the docket to talk about. Have you have you seen the new Captain Marvel trailer? It is on the docket because I, I I haven't watched it yet. Oh, you haven't? Uh-huh. Okay, oh, all right. I figured you would say that, and I was like, should I not click on this? Because I normally don't catch these things when they when they release. Yeah, I, but I, I was like, you know what? Since I did, I'm gonna click on it. I held off, but this is what we're gonna do. Like Jay, still, she just stepped out. You know, she did like for people listening. Sometimes Jay still have to step out to handle business or to talk to her son. And yeah, you know, that's, that's the right. time she's gonna get. So though, when like, we just baby. running in this shit, just know she stepped out. But I wanna start for some time so she can see the Captain Marvel trailer specifically because it's you know female hero. Gotcha. So cool. we can we can transition, come back to the Captain Marvel trailer. There's a new Elseworlds trailer that just dropped for the whole CW class crossover, and I also haven't watched this. Okay, cool. Go I haven't watched this, this either. Out. All right. Mr. I'm behind on Flash Face ass. I did, yeah. I'm only this episode. well, um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Some people, they're just born lucky. Barry, are you okay? And that twist of fate makes them better. <laughs> Mother Queen, I'm Barry. Barry, did you time travel again? No, I didn't. Sorry, I was talking to Barry. I am Barry. Something is wrong with reality. Everyone thinks we're each other. We shape the world as you see fit. You did this to us. You can undo it. Why would I want to? A crisis is coming. We need to start acting like each other. <laughs> I know where to find them. Gotham City. Who's this badass? The rain on your parade. Your team betrayed you. You needed them, and they weren't there. He's rewriting reality again. Enough! You will not do to this earth what you did to mine. I offer you godhood. Show them what a real god can do. Elseworld. The three-night crossover event starts Sunday, 8, 7 central on The CW. I'm sold. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely into that. I'm sold. I'm definitely into It looks that. like it's about to kick all the ass. Uh, in this Elseworlds thing, uh, apparently Ali and Barry have switched bodies, well, switched lives for whatever reason. <laughs> even I, even Barry got his scars. That's so trippy. Um, yeah, man, especially if you've been keeping up with the CW shows, like we said at the top of the podcast, how, like, you know, both Arrow and Flash, and I mean, I haven't been watching Supergirl, but I heard it's been good this season as well. I so, haven't been watching it either. So they've been hitting their strides. So to see them all come together, man, we saw Superman in a black suit. We got to see more of Batwoman and shit. Well, your girl Ruby Lash about to <laughs> swag on that ass. Superman Bat is so lady. little. Let's not get on suits, man. Good old Batwoman. And, uh, who else? Uh, it's just so many, so many highlights coming out of that. That I'm like, okay, you can. You, I'm, I'm curious to see how y'all about to do all this here. I'm intrigued, yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm always on board for the crossovers. I'm only just a little sad that um, we get no, um, uh, no legends. I'm so behind on legends, but I'm like four episodes behind. I gotta just binge that really soon. Supernatural took up that spot in my life. I haven't gone back to Supernatural, actually, yeah. Good old Sam and Dean. Gotta check back in with good old Sam and Dean. They're yeah. chilling adventures of Sam and Dean. 
Last time I was there, Jeffrey Dean called Basically. called Sam. <laughs> and Sam was like, are you chasing that thing that killed mom? Don't give my dog a no, no gammy voice. <laughs> God Ooh. damn it. But we, y'all both were like Sabrina watches, right? Like, yes. How y'all uh, felt? I told y'all, I watched the first 15 minutes and turned it off. <laughs> no interest. But I know she's been watching it. I know you watched it. So I was curious to get you guys' takes for the so full So, like, I got really far and then I stopped because it's like, mm-hmm. it was one of those things where I paid close attention to the first three episodes and then, like, let it keep playing while I was kind of doing things. So, okay, like, I got know. further, but I was like, wait. You want, like, full attention? No. So, mm-hmm. when I first saw it, I knew it was going to be dark. But I didn't know how dark it was going to be. Like, I didn't realize these people were going to be full on, like, oh, praise Satan. Oh, oh, hail our Lord and Savior Satan. I'm like, whoa. Like, okay, this is really happening. I wasn't ready. You your soul over to the devil. I wasn't ready for all of that. <laughs> um, But I definitely liked it. I will say, though, every time I watch it, I appreciate it more. Mm-hmm. Just because the first time I watched it, I wasn't ready for how dark it was. Like I knew, like I said, I knew it was gonna be dark, but I didn't expect for like the pure, like, like we're gonna slit pure a girl demonry. Throat in the, in yeah, the front yard. we're gonna do some black masses and like every demonic thing you could think of is in this show. I'm gonna kill this lady with a shovel. Yeah, and then bury her in the front yard. Yeah. <laughs> and coming from the little Sabrina we had in the '90s, I'm, I'm like, like, this is traumatic. This ain't your mama, the Sabrina. Killing each other. <laughs> and doing black masks and human sacrifices and they doing some all real kind shit. of stuff. I'm like, okay. Bringing back the dead. Yes. And man, she if you're going to put yourself out there as a witch in 2018, man, you got to do that witch shit. Yeah, but overall, so far, <laughs> it's a really good show. Ah, and apparently, yeah. it's been renewed for uh, season two already. Cool. But I definitely Great. like it. I am on. I've rewatched it. This is my third time now. So I think I've seen the first three episodes three times. Oh, now. okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm uh back on episode four technically now, okay. even though I kind of know like what happens right before the end because I haven't gotten to the last two episodes yet. Technically. Okay, what's happening right now when you are? Now? Um, let's see. She defeated the. She got the thing overturned, and where I am right now, she's about to go to the Academy of Unseen Arts. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. where I am. That's cool. I like the which totally reminded me of Hogwarts. What's the blonde the black way. girl's name? I know, right? Yeah. What's What's the blonde black girl's oh. name? I love her. I don't know, but I love her too. She's awesome. You talking about one of the strange sisters? I yeah. Love her. Oh, the main one. <sighs> and then yeah. the imagery they awesome. show the devil, and the imagery of the devil is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. It's creepy to me. It's very creepy, yeah. It's, it's so yeah, creepy. no, it's creepy. I'll give you that. And like how he like prances on uh <laughs> the lady, like when he comes in, it's like you hear his speak, and then he like stops. And then he comes in and I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna show him, and then they show like the whole thing, and I'm like, oh my god. There's a reason why she says he prances. I will say though, every time I watch the show, I have the strangest nightmares. Oh, the wow, first really? time I watched it, I had these okay. scariest nightmares. I was like, ooh, I, I might need to burn some sage. Because <laughs> it's right? a little evil. Sage in my life. Yeah, you I, need a little holy water when you watch the show because it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's evil. But it's, it's good, it's, though. Yeah, no, it's, 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 bad. it's evil and, and, and bad in all the good ways. Um, yeah. it, it, it inspired me to kind of even want to maybe take a look at Riverdale because they make like... Maybe two or three references throughout the season uh, about Riverdale and about like transfers and stuff like that. And um, I don't know. It, uh, but it, it gets, it was much, much more. See, I didn't I've know watched what to one episode of Riverdale. Yeah. And I, I thought it was cool. Like, that was cool? Yeah, I just have never gone back, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to Riverdale at some point. But what you saying? Um, hmm. Oh, well, you I was, said you didn't expect the direction it was going into? or what? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I didn't know really what to expect. Like, I watched a little bit of the trailer, and then I kind of got the impression that it was going to show me too much because they started rapid-firing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And, and what I realized after, like, stopping it and then just going and watch it, I think they maybe showed me maybe the first two episodes. Yeah. Um, which wasn't so bad. And... Um, I also think it's interesting, and it kind of terrified me, her whole mission and her oh. whole reason for going to the Academy. Uh, she, how she wants to, spoiler, she wants to conjure, she, specifically she said she wants to summon, conjure, she wants to conjure the devil 
and then bind him, meaning that he can't go nowhere and then banish his ass. So she's trying to fight the devil. She's trying to get rid of him. Right. Yeah. Oh, her. Yeah. And after all the stuff he did as far as how he taunted her, like while she was going through the court date, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Lord. Spring might die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I thought that for. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You're. I keep forgetting we're in a different places. Behind. Yeah, no, it's cool. I don't want to say. Behind. Yeah, I'm get well, there are other, there are other, yeah, so there are other things at play basically, and um, you know, just to really kind of get into all the set pieces, um, this is, you know, Sabrina, who I feel like I've seen in something when I went and looked her up. I feel like I saw her in something. Mad Men. Mad Men. See, I did. I wasn't really a Mad Men man. Is that is that a big thing? Yep. Uh, did she do anything else? Not really. Okay, maybe I didn't see her then. Um, yeah. I'm going to look up but, IMDb right now, but okay. she's specifically known for Mad Men. Okay. I do remember that aspect, uh, but I thought she carried, like, the she she's, a, she's extremely charming, and she kind of carries the weight of the show. Like, you follow her, you kind of root for her, you uh, you hope that uh, things are working out for her. Um, but um, in terms of the ensemble pieces, the aunts, I think I like both of them. Uh, um, I love both of them. They're great. I love her cousin. Casting. Yeah. Oh, I love the cousin. The cousin Cousin's is fine. Dope. <laughs> that cousin got black swag. Yeah, cousin got swag. She has 39 credits. Let's see what she's wow. working with. Uh, what's my girl name? Uh, Karen and Shipka. So, okay. she was on Monk. That's regular. That's uh, random, right. random, random, random. I, I've really. seen her, but don't Heroes, really remember her. Obviously, these are random Little shits. girl in fire. Yeah, seen Atlanta Vlogs. Never seen her. Carries no more. House broken. No, no. Cats and dogs. No, no, no. Random, random, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't trust the bitch in apartment twenty three. You know, it's like all these. It's like you can see her career pop, like building, because these are all except yeah. except she's all like bit roles, like you know what I mean. Day players, day player, day players. A little girl, uh, uh, Legend, Legend of Korra, Korra voice. Uh, the Legend she of Korra. Of so yeah, she does a few video game voice. Get that money, girl. Yeah, more, more like these. Unbreakable day, Kimmy Smith. Day player, one episode. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying she did a lot of day player, know. but then she was Sally Draper on yep. Mad Men. That's there what popped up. Eighty nine episodes. Come on now, and then from there, Fangirl, Black Girl's Daughter. She was a voice of a uh, Spider Woman on. Well, she get this video game money, huh? Oh yeah. Lord, that's awesome. You hear me? A uh, feud. She was on Family Guy. She's Sophia. Yeah. Not, Sophia. Now she's chilling. Adventures of Sabrina, uh -huh. and she's probably with like eighteen at the at the oldest. Oh, is she? She ain't even that. She might not even be that old, dog. Nineteen ninety nine. We're the same age. Okay. Oh God. Yeah. Damn. She, <laughs> she plays young as fuck, yo. Yeah, she does. But she's um no yeah she's she's real charming she carries she carries a good way to the show um girl you're not born in ninety nine we'll continue <laughs> so um I like the aunts I like the cousin um I even like the sort of minister of whatever the hell is it darkness is that what the it minister is minister of, of I don't know I don't watch it I can't I the don't Lord remember. of no he's not the Lord and spoiler Satan is the Lord. spoiler alert. He, they call him something yeah he has a name I'm uh, not going to ever watch it. You have to. No interest. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's. I got Sam and Dean. We good. Yeah, I was gonna. Ugh. Okay. Me, me, Sam and Dean, good. Yeah, that's your brand of horror. You know what I mean? Which is cool. You know what I mean? But yeah, we should we should check back in when you get to the end. I th I. Uh, I'm scared because yeah. I just don't know where it's going. Like, if you're in four, I'm like, yeah, it gets. I, I probably said some stuff that I shouldn't have said. They, it gets darker. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard a, f gets, a few people I know that watch it. They said, um, yeah, it gets worse. I'm gets, like, how? Yeah. How's Salem We've doing? Had... Salem's not a thing yet where I am. He's, He's not, not a thing. Okay, yeah. They show him. The cat, right? Like, they keep showing references to a black cat. Okay. Yeah. But you haven't met, like, He's Salem, Salem hasn't shown no. up yet? I'm okay. Wow. Oh, not yet. I feel good that you said she hasn't. Yet. She hasn't picked a familiar yet. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Good old Salem. That was so on the old show. If well, on the old show. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll wait then. I'll wait. wait. I need to finish this. Let her finish it. Cause the thing yeah. is, I'll yeah. give you guys all the time in the world to talk about this show, but I'm yeah. never gonna watch it. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta finish it just nah. cause I want to see how in the hell it gets darker. Cause when I'm telling you, they've done every evil thing that I know of, at least. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, like you, oh, you, Lord. you're, I don't you're care a boy. You little think... white girl problems. Yeah. <laughs> no, she is not having white girl problems. She having like dark demon Satan world problems. problems. Yeah, Satan problems. That's and how many black girls have those? Well, only that's one that we saying. know of right now. And that's <laughs> on fiction. Yeah, you're right. Fiction. You're true. Anyway, you got any more to say on this? The, the chilling adventures of not Sam and Dean. 
Oh, wow. Go watch it. It's, a little, it's better than Supernatural. It's a bit of a shot. Ha! Okay. I <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I think it's worth a, a good uh, Netflix uh, watch. I mean, uh, and I'm going to say this. Yeah, man. A lot of people love this show. Most people it's I know that really talk good. about this show love this show. So I'm not, I can't act like... Oh, okay. And it grows right. on people, you. People, people yeah. dig this show. That's how come it got such a quick turnaround for season two. I'm going to give it that. It's just like I said, I put on those first 15, gave not one ounce of Nothing s- slice of fuck. Can I... And you gotta watch at least a whole episode. No interest. Did did you feel like the show sort of had a direction in the first maybe three episodes? Like, do you feel like it kind of like it 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 it, it went on a journey? I guess it was sort of like a character piece, but in terms of like, I didn't feel like the show defined itself necessarily. It's sort of like, well, I don't really know what can happen next, and it's just yeah, is this possible kinda, here? Is that possible? It was kind of all over the place, right? Okay. And I really felt like I have no idea where this is going. So every time something happened, I'm just like, oh, okay. That's interesting. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. Let's go down but that yeah, road. Yeah, it definitely felt a little disjointed. Okay. Um, the first yeah. time, and I just was kind of like, "Oh, I don't know about this," and I'm kind of scared. But then <laughs> that's why, like, the second or third time, I was like, "Okay, cool. I could, I can ride with this because now I kind of know." Like, mm-hmm. I started noticing little things that I didn't okay. notice the first time. But yeah, all right, it's a little enough. all over the place. Mm-hmm. Well, it's becoming all over the place right now. It's people's hype and an anticipation for Captain Marvel. People are more and more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love my segue. That was nice. That was a nice one. Well, I went to school for that. But um, <laughs> but uh, there's a new trailer that dropped, and you know, I've not watched it yet. We were talking when you were gone. Um, that uh, we hadn't, we hadn't, we didn't want to dive into it until we had the female, the woman on the show. Female eye. I am Captain Marvel. Check it out with us. Let's go, Thought Captain you, Marvel. Right. Trailer number two. So, scrolls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. Your life began the day it nearly ended. We found you. With no memory, we made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. You know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Would you like to know what you really are? I think I had a life here. What aren't you telling me? You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. What's you? I'll be back. Oh my god. Way better than the first trailer. Way better. That wasn't really a trailer though. It's yeah, the like first one was a teaser. teaser. Yeah, this yeah. is a trailer. This is I cool. really dig that helmet mask thing she got to make a head yeah. go in a little bullhawk. And then a lot of people's uh, loving the fact she looked like a Super Saiyan and that little thing she's growing she up and like her hair start going in. She's like kick all the ass, and I'm very yeah. excited about this film and what she's gonna be doing Avengers Four because her versus Thanos is gonna be amazing. Yeah, that's what I keep thinking about every time I watch or read something about Captain Marvel. I'm like, okay, this is awesome because it's a female led superhero movie, and she's kicking ass. But I'm like, how is she? Like, how is this gonna incorporate itself into uh, the Avengers? Mm-hmm. Like my brain is still he coming like, to kick that mm-hmm. ass. Or he she yeah. coming to kick that ass. Remember that that Sam um, 
Nick Fury put out the distress signal. Yeah. She coming to kick that ass. What you saying, Marty? How you feel about the trailer? Uh, I, um, you know, I'm always on board. I'm a Marvel, uh, you know, whore, I imagine, you know, is, the, <laughs> is the word. They don't call us fans anymore. We're just, you know, Marvel whores. Hi, um, Marty but has <laughs> entered the building. He Marvel is. Whore. He Hi, is. Marty is here. Hi there. He's a Marvel whore. He's, he's, he's in effect. <laughs> he's in but, effect. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I, um, I dug this trailer a lot. It was, um, like, so, you know, spoiler alert, guys, I, uh, I kind of, well, we already kind of talked about this, but I saw it, um, you know, previously, and um, it, um, when I when I saw it the first time, it 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 um, it got me excited about the movie instead of just I'm gonna show up and right. I'll be there. You already got my money. It was like, oh, okay, cool. Now you kind of earned it. You know, first you had my curiosity, right? Now you have my attention. Wait, pause. Do you have Prime? You on Amazon Prime? Yes, sir. So your ass gonna be able to see Aquaman early too. I am. How's that? There's something about Aquaman. If you are, if you have Amazon Prime, there's gonna there's some kind of way y'all gonna be able to see like Aquaman when it first come out, like a week before everybody. Look it up. Google oh, that shit. Oh, okay. I think on Prime on some shit. On some crazy. On some weird shit. Google that shit. But go back to right. we back on Captain Marvel. But when you, cause I remember you saying almost a similar thing about Aquaman, but mm -hmm. but you're saying more. You said you already got my money, but you seem more excited about this Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I'm yeah. Well, I'm definitely more. Yeah, I'm probably. I'm definitely more excited about Captain Marvel mm -hmm. than uh, Aquaman. But uh, yeah, it. Um, Even though Aquaman's making some good reviews, it's getting some good reviews. So I mean, surprising. we'll see. They. I mean, I feel like DC. All DC really needs in terms of their movies is like a couple good string of them. Yeah. And um, and they they seem like like if Aquaman is the first one, Shazam comes out the gate swinging too mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I mean, I don't That's know. I don't know what uh, what is it when when is this uh, Else World uh, you know um, Joker movie that everybody's fucking excited about? It just rap, you know. It just rap. See, like once all it, like if we get like a good string of those bad boys together, I mean it'll be a nice upturn. But in terms of Captain Marvel, um, you know, I just didn't really know what to expect. I mean, it's like you know I'm gonna be there, and it's like oh, okay, cool. You guys are kind of giving me a concrete. Only thing I was uh, upset about with the trailer because I'm like, this is the official trailer. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, <clears throat> where the fuck is my Coulson? Um, you know, yeah, okay. <laughs> right? You know that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but I'm just like, okay, cool. I thought that's what we were gonna do when we gave me a longer, uh, you know, lengthier trailer or whatever. But, well, Coulson you know, was in the teaser though, so you got him there. Was he in the teaser? Yeah, he's definitely in the teaser with hair. Mm -hmm. Go look it up. Okay. In trailer I'm one, that's Coulson. It's coasting with hair. He takes off his glasses. It's just one of the shots. Oh out. yeah, yeah, I do remember that. You know? But see, I thought that that I thought that there would be more. But we're it getting, seems like more her and Nick Fury. Nick Fury, than which Coulson. I'm cool with. I dig the fuck out of Nick Fury too. Yeah. So yeah. I will take that. Um, you know, it uh, it looks cool, and then uh, it seems to. Because I don't know, I was a little confused on how we were going to do this time thing, but like, and then also too. Uh, okay, what get what got me excited is the connection I'm I'm making between. The Kree that we're seeing here, uh, and the Kree that we see in Agents of Shield, yeah. and then like her whole Im impression of the Kree, and my impression of the Kree, yeah. and I'm like, well, wow, is that going to be a part of the story where Possibly. my impression of the Kree is something she discovers Maybe. instead of what she thinks it is? Because if she's saying what she thinks the Kree is to Nick Fury in that car, I'm like, yeah. you don't know what they are. The other shit, um, right? The other Go down to you know. Right. Yeah, yeah the other side. Your people, your you have people, however they plan it. Right. So that guy I guess so my excitement probably comes from that, you know, I'm really an agent of shield now, so uh that that's probably what that is too. So but I'm kinda I can't wait to see that unfold too and um And you know, on, on the Aquaman kick, uh they y'all uh -huh. Amazon Prime will be able to watch Aquaman in cinemas up to six days before its official release. Each subscriber will be able to purchase up to ten tickets for a seven PM showing on December fifteenth. Just under a week before the film officially opens, the promotion continues Amazon's historically amicable relationship with cinemas. So, yeah, man. Um, Your prime ass get the kill catch it a week early, nigga. I feel uh, like that's very important. Uh, and I might become prime. Because <laughs> yeah. It's important. She, she, she likes fucking Jason he got Momoa, it. bro. I don't like him. You don't like Jason Momoa? I love him. Okay. There we go. There we go. Correction. Correct no. my ass. Let me know. I just became a prime member just now. <laughs> ah, there you go. Look, he said just then. 
<laughs> just then. It just happened. They make it real easy. It's a one button click. You oh. know, <laughs> your credits already. Your credits already on file. Let's have all Boom. the cards. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> all of them. So, all right, guys. Let's get to this main event, man. Let's talk about this film here. Oh, this movie God. dropped in the summer. It was one of those black because it was one of three black indies that were on my list. It was this. It was Blind Spotting. It was uh, the Black Klansman. And I have um, Blind Spotting. I haven't watched it yet, but I got a, I got a, a copy of that. Oh, dope. So I'm gonna get that a, a watch very soon. Dope. Mm -hmm. But sorry to bother you. Man, I'm just out here surviving. And what I'm doing right now won't even matter. Oh, baby, baby, it will always matter. Oh. But you said you fixed that. Get a room. I got a room, mother. <laughs> Hey, Cash, how much longer I got to wait for my money? God made this land for all of us. Greedy people like you want to hog it to yourself and your family. And Me and my family? Yeah. Cash, I'm your f***ing uncle. I just really need a job. 40 on two. This is telemarketing. Stick to the script. Hey, hello. Uh, Mr. Davison, Cash is green here. Sorry to bust. Let me give you a tip. You want to make some money here? Use your white voice. My white voice? I'm never talking about Will Smith's wife. Like this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer. This is Langston from Regal View. As always, we'll be getting that out to you right away. You're doing so good with the voice thing. Holla, 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 holla. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right. Hell yeah. You're going upstairs, Power Caller. They even have their own elevator. Welcome, Power Caller. I hope you did not masturbate today. We need you sharp and ready to go. Hey, I'm full trailer, they ain't murky yet. Go with you, pop like Percocet. Got me hooked up, bang, I ain't service yet. Two steps like the ball, this person check. I got promoted. I'm a Power Caller. What do they sell? They're not selling, but we sell it. No, well, there's no amount of money that make me do that. Here's the starting salary. Well, man, I'm gonna have to get me some new suits. Yeah, whatever I wear, no, I'm here to be clear. It is morally emaciated. I can't ride with you. I'm doing something I'm really good at. Cash, I'm gonna make you a proposal. I can see that you want to say no, but I wouldn't do that before you see what I'm offering you. Cash, you are awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. So, initial thoughts, people. How y'all feeling? How was it for you? <laughs> this was a trippy thing. First half of the movie, I was riding with it. I was digging it. Um, it was one of those movies that before the big twist, all of the different <laughs> metaphors and everything we were getting, after watching it, because I technically watched it twice, watching it the second time, I really was like catching little things and I'm like, oh, this is smart as fuck. Like, there were so many little subtle and not so subtle uh, messages in there <laughs> right. about race and economics and, you know, all of those things that we deal with every day. Mm -hmm. um, but the ending and the twist, mm. I just kind of threw me off and I still haven't fully recovered to <laughs> where I don't know if I will watch this movie again. Um, I think, I think, I, yeah, I think once, twice <laughs> is enough. For me, just because it threw me off. So yeah, that's my initial thoughts. I'm just a little like, uh, I don't know. Well, to quote um, uh, Arrogant Observer for my review, if I may, um, and we're, we're cool, we're spoiling everything. We're spoiling the spoiler, spoiler, spoiler-tastic. Right. Let's go. To quote Arrogant Observer. Horse people! <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I thought this movie um, was dope. Um, I couldn't, like, I just, I, the balls to do what they do at the absolute end is just, wow. <laughs> yeah. I just, I couldn't, I, I just stood in admiration of it just because, um, yeah, it was different. It was cool. It was I couldn't tell you where this where this thing was going from one moment to the next, but I was still captivated through each moment. Um, yeah, uh, it 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 was a 
a really, really dope experience, um, you know, first time around. I, I think I'm with you on that tip, Marty, because like I said, man, like, <sighs> for me personally, and the thing is, even up to the end, this was some very clever writing. The writing was amazing to me. All the subtleties, like Jay Still said, from old girl and her earrings to the different shirts that she wore uh, to the, uh, you know what I mean, to like, you have a good day, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. what, what, yeah. What's up, man? That, 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 that fit looking real nice on you, my nigga, my G. <laughs> I can take you out. These niggas had a whole back and forth intense exchange compliment each What's other. I know. That was so fucking hilarious, dog. Yeah. There's so many moments I that. that I was like, man, right. that shit was just sick to her performance piece. And she was saying it's the same shit you go through till they talked all the time about, you know, slavery and how, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? From um, Worry Free, like, they were selling being Worry a professional free. prisoner, like, for yeah. real. Right. But he was also saying, well, what job isn't that? They had so many dope ass conversations. Like, yeah. I was really riding to it. Yep. And then, like, like Jay said, the twist happened. Now I ain't gonna front. When the twist happened, and for people listening that don't know, this movie, uh, the Keith Stanfield, he's the lead character. He plays this guy down on his luck, no money, broke as fuck. Uh, he lives in his uncle, who's played by uh, oh, fucking damn. Why his name's escaping me? Uh, Terry Crews. Terry Crews. There you go. Played by Terry Crews, and his, him and his girlfriend, who's played by Tessa Thompson, living in his freaking uncle's. Uh, garage yeah uh and um yeah man and he gets a job at a telemarketing spot and he starts rising the ranks at the telemarketing spot power caller when he learns how to oh speak God. white and he danny glover a makes a, a, a it's the best extended cameo because at a point in the movie danny glover just disappears yeah so he, does. he just, danny glover pops up and basically tells him you know you need to use your white voice and i like the explanation wasn't just talk proper or nasally it was no you know like you never have a can in the world all your mm -hmm. bills paid you know what i mean it's what they yeah. think that they sound like it's what they want to be like you know what i'm saying it wasn't right. even dude like i loved that whole monologue and how mr glover delivered it and like i told i think i said this before on the, on, the, on this podcast ever since he banged on me in my face with a Macbeth <laughs> yeah. in my face right anytime i see him talking for elongated periods of time i just have that memory and just remember how much of a fucking beast this man is even yeah. with the smallest of things his presence will always shine so like it, it, it was it was cool I, i'm riding i'm seeing now this is one part that, that threw me how quick he turned on his niggas like yeah that kind of fucked me up when i first watched it that was very jarring yeah very jarring it's like one day they cool then he get the promotion and then next thing you know nigga it's they, like instant like fuck y'all fuck y'all on y'all shit nigga. get on my week i, I wish yeah. they could have took more time for him to build into that but um, the big twist, like JC, when he finds out, you know, he snorts the shit from Army Hammer. <laughs> and shouts out to Army Hammer, man. He's a real cool dude in real life, too. Um, but um, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, God, dog. It's like when, when, when the horse people angle popped up. But wait, pause. What's up? What's up? There's a lot of horse imagery in this movie. Like, if you go Is back it, and yeah? look, when I watched it the second time, I was like, oh, my God, horses. Like, but specifically, of course, in the uh, the house or the party. Like, all before the twist happens, there's horse stuff everywhere. I oh. Too. And I noticed after the fact, I was like, there's horses everywhere. They were trying to warn us that weird shit was about to happen, and we didn't know. And even the plate. I only caught it on the plate. Yeah, he took the Coke off. Yeah. When I looked back, I was like, oh. Uh, the the, co the quote-unquote Coke. I was so hurt for my dog son. <laughs> like I think, I think, see, even we went because when I, it was so, they were scary looking. Like the effects when you first see the that whole scene Horrifying. where the horses start popping up, that Horrifying. shit was creepy as shit, dog. Yeah. I wasn't ready for it. I can imagine you seeing that at the middle of the night. See, that, in the middle of the night, halfway high, I didn't know what it was. Like was it didn't dawn on me till the next day that oh, that was supposed to be a horse because I stopped nasty. it there. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Like. These naked ass, like mutated, ass, uh, like what the fuck? I didn't know what it was. I was confused. Uh, so what they call it? Equestrian <coughs> people, equestrian Equal, humans. E uh, oh shit, Equisapi Equisapiens. Equisapiens. That's creepy. That's so creepy weird. as fuck, man. I saw it at the Broad Theater. It was uh, pretty packed, and we all, I mean, like we we were all in unison, like. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> like audibly, and it was just like, like I was there, but I, I, I was there by myself basically. But like everybody around was just kind of just like you could hear all the conversations going on. Like when your boy spills out of the stall, it's yeah, just like from that, that moment alive. on. Yeah, so and he's just are, on the ground yeah. pulsating. And then they all start coming from all the ends of and the then like, so, kill me. 
happened. Scary, dog. Dude. Shit had me fucked up. Like, watching that shit, I was like, ugh. Like, when you talk about legitimately creepy, that shit was legit. It got under my skin. I couldn't After get that, out of it. After that, honestly, the first time seeing it, I was turned off from the movie. I was like, I don't, I'm not feeling this. I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. Because it kind of went to a place that was just so left. It was like, you kind of pulled me out of everything you were trying to say. Because this is too fucking much. But guess what? I still, like, it fucked me up. But when it had this scene that it fucked up Lakeith and how he was reacting to it and shit, that's what brought me back to it because he was so fucked up. And then my fear of the fact that I knew that that, that nigga gave him the real shit. Like, I yeah. knew that's what it was. Yeah. And when he said his plan, because I don't know at what point did y'all realize at the end he was going to end up being a horse. But, like, the entire time I'm watching it, I'm, like, having it in the back of my mind, like, please don't make this man be a horse at the end because... Like, I was fucking with it even even when... Because when they came and saved the day, I thought that was hilarious. When the horses come at the end to save the day, the horse yeah. people... See, that, and that made it funny. And that's what I'm saying. I was riding with it. He, and he got his girl back. And I was like... And he had his house still in the garage. Like I was like, I was like perfect ending. Let him get in the bed and whatever. So when he turned, it was the horse, dog. That, that unsettled me, dog. Like, I was like, don't end it like that, son. And the reason why I knew it was going to end like that, and I just was hoping it wouldn't, is... Army Hammer, uh, Mr. Lip, Steve Lip's plan, he said, was to create the Martin Luther King of horses. So when they had that whole thing of him stepping up for, they're making horse people, we need to free the horse people, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh shit, as I'm watching it. He's becoming uh... the MLK of horses right before our eyes, before he turns. I caught that shit early, and I just kept on saying, please don't be right. Like, because I didn't <laughs> want to end badly for the nigga. And even when they said there was a cure, I was like, okay, well, at least there's a cure. But this nigga be lying, like, about the cure. Because I felt like everything in that conversation was, he lying. And Lakeith, yeah. whatever Lakeith's saying is right. Lakeith, you think you got, you inhaled that shit? You're right. Yeah. You, Lakeith, you think he made up a, a fucking uh, antidote? Yeah. You're right. Ain't no yeah. real antidote, bruh. So it was like, he trying to talk you into some fuck shit, dog. So I was like, when it ended, with him becoming a horse, even that little spot at the very end when he said, I'm with the horse people, we about to whoop your ass, that did not satisfy me. Because then I'm, I'm a nigga that looks at life and like Life the Comedy is one of my favorite movies. It's funny as fuck, but it's a tragedy to me. Because I always think about oh, the yeah. love how them niggas don't never get out of jail and they even do that shit. And that fucks with me, dog. You know, it's a comedy. Same That here. movie, yeah, they backdoored that movie. That movie is, is sold to you as a comedy, but it is a drama. Dude, it's a it drama. is a fucking drama. Dude, and you think too deeply, by the time, fuck with you. By the time you get to a certain point, though, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's still... A, they're still making jokes. It's yeah, funny. there's still little bits and shit. It's funny. But this is a fucking drama. Like, no, they're not supposed to be here. They got life for real. The yeah. movie did not lie to you, and you really got to sit through these niggas falsely be in jail, and they don't get out yeah. till they old and they die. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Like, dude, so, like, I, that's, and that's a yeah. comedy how I look right. at it. So yeah. I'm watching this dark comedy, and I'm like, son, even if you try to make the little last joke of him and the Equisapiens running in to beat I him up, and my body it. is, dog, I felt bad that he lost his girl, and the Asian nigga getting it popping with her. Right. That fucked with me to no end. So yeah. when he get his girl back, and he got his now uncle straight, horse. I'm like, he a horse! I was angry and it was cleverly written because like I said the writing was still clever because me catching early that you made him the mall of the king and then you made him a horse I see what you did because he sold out he's been Uncle Tom and he was giving him his just desserts regardless because I understand all the layers of the shit but that don't mean I don't, I don't like when shit don't work out good for my protagonist man I'm sorry so I watched yeah, movies I, I, I watched movies the for the good too. guys to win and I knew <laughs> that I, I purposely I paused the movie with 8 minutes left at the end and I said everything's going really well but I already knew Everybody I've talked to said the very, like, the end is fucked up. And I was like, okay, only have eight minutes left, so something fucked up is about to happen. So as soon <laughs> as he, like, at the very end, when they go back in his room and he turns around like he hit himself or something, I was like, this is it. He's a fucking horse. And so when he actually turned into the horse, I completely shut down. I was like, I don't want to see this movie again. Because I got dark and I was like, what this nigga going to do after? He's Did his horse. girl leave him? Yep. Is she going to fuck of a horse? Yep. What is he going to do? No. Is he going to kill us? Like, Bruh. I went deep with it. I Me became too. him for a second. Me I was too. Like, that is why I... Honestly, I'm I don't fuck with this it movie. Fuck with me. Oh, because wow. of the ending. I I can't. Like it's just Oh wow. If but okay. it's art, I think I it's an amazing it piece art. of art. <laughs> it's very creative, but I I can't, I can't do it. And I like weird. I like I like okay. all the messages, but that it I just was too much. It was wow. too much. Okay. It's too much. Well, let's get on into that. Uh yeah. Horse I, people. So, I <laughs> So, you know what I'll say? Um I kind of so I knew he I knew <laughs> what, what he snorted was the stuff I knew that for a fact I, I like I figured that much um 
But the thing that the movie did was it kind of somehow went on long enough to For kind of make kind me of to doubt forget. Yeah, well, just to kind of forget. I'm like, it did you know it on what? Purpose. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm going through it. I'm like, yeah, he did snort the stuff, dude. You about to turn into a horse at some point. But no and time. then like he, well, then he at one point he freaks out and it's like, well, this is sort of a bullshit freak out. It's like there's no way you didn't snort that stuff, but. I mean, maybe you got a delayed reaction. Then the movie sort of goes along, and the horses come save him. Dog. And then for a second, the end, I we get to the been, end. For a second, I was hoping it was coke. For a right? second, oh, okay, fair enough. Not, I mean, I was hoping only because, but, like, what you're saying, so much time had passed. Yeah, it was a right. lot. So I was like, wait, all this time had passed. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, I'm wrong. You know what I mean? I was like, nah. I, I like, I feel like they showed us this for a reason. Like that moment. Happened for a reason. Now they gonna think we gonna forget, which is what I did. And it was on a horse <laughs> plate. That's why I couldn't get out of my mind. You snorted it off a horse it was plate, on a horse dog. Plate. That yeah, told you right that there. told right. me everything. When you snorted off the horse plate, and then you found horses, nigga, nigga. I'm just like, like, but Army Hammer from at no point to me came off as a trustworthy motherfucker. Hell he's the, he's no. the man. Yeah, he's so the man. like the he's a fact, complete psychopath. Yeah, I just that's. In elite. I don't think, um, I don't know. I, yeah, I just, I never really went with him and I always sort of side eyed him from the moment he stepped on. And I didn't know that that was the way I was going to feel before walking in. It's just, I don't know. I couldn't get down with him. But anyway. Talk about ghosts. I love yeah. the fact this that ghost ghost, in this bitch. <laughs> that we see ghosts and I don't think we hear ghost voice. Omari Hardwick. At the very end. Yeah, one oh, scene. Yeah, There's one end. scene. Yeah. Okay. It's Towards when they drunk. The it's the last time we ever see uh, whatever they never said his name, they bleeped it out. But uh, right, yeah. So you're gonna be ghosts. But whenever quasi <laughs> ghosts, uh, right? He they all drunk and he tells them this long elongated set of directions to get to Army Hammer's um, lair. Yeah, he uh, door he, he said he's talking in his normal voice, basically trying to sell them, man. They should know this your shot, but we all don't realize how. <laughs> Where he's really selling you to, dog, and dog. Like once again, the metaphors, dog. You, you got to watch. There's so many, like just the levels of, um, like I said, metaphors and messaging in this movie, man. You got to watch who you trust, and you got to. Well, is that promotion what you want? You know what I mean? It's selling out on yourself and your people and your mo- dude. The, like I said, Tessa Thompson killed this role. She I love their chemistry. It. Yeah, they have really good chemistry together. Yeah, I think yeah. they might be two of my favorites. She honestly. was so sexy in this movie too, She's without trying. Sexy. But like, no, sometimes I'm not really paying attention to her sex appeal. Most, like most, I'm like most times I'm thinking she's pretty, but I'm really looking at you know she killing this acting role. Yeah, right. this right. role, like I was like, oh, I like her. You know what I mean? <laughs> from when she was in her yeah. shirt and her underwear, from how carefree she was, how rebellious she was. I don't know, just I like. It's, it's, it's like how it, I like is a, is a mixture of character. Oh my god, it's like how I like um. Um, her character in um, Dear White People. Yeah. Right. You know I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. I'm yeah. not like I'm not in love with Tessa Thompson, but I like that character. Same with her, the the the, the, the girl who took it over next. You know what I'm saying? I forgot mm-hmm. her name. Uh it was on the tip of my fucking tongue. But yeah, I like yeah, that character. Too. Same right. that's how I felt about a girl on here. I was like, man, I like this character. She's just doing it for me. And mm-hmm. Tessa, that's one thing I really dug too is She's a real actor, dog. She is. She's bomb. Oh, yeah. She's so yeah, yeah. bomb. Her characters be different from each other. That girl ain't the girl from this and ain't the girl from that. Mm-hmm. Like, she really be acting. Oh, yeah. Her yeah, she jumps amazing. in. Yeah, she yeah. has a range, for real. Most definitely. And I love how when her character said, man, if you cross that picket line, I ain't fucking with you, son. Straight. <laughs> she meant that shit. Yeah, yeah. That was some, yeah. That, it was some heartbreaking stuff, but it was just like, yeah, she kind of laid the line. She, she drew a line and you, you crossed it, so. Yeah, and she's gonna tell him about the Asian dude. That pissed me off. Like, like oh, oh god, he like he just was an ain't shit ass motherfucker. So, what a cause. Uh, Mr. What a, what a cause. Glenn from fucking Walking Dead. That's why he looked familiar. That's who that is. Yeah, I kept looking yeah. at his face like he looked so familiar. Oh. Glenn from The Walking Dead. You was you my nigga, but I gotta write you off of that oh. one. That was some fuck shit. Yes, indeed. Right I couldn't. I, and I then try and be in this man's face. Then still try to get him down. You hear me? And I'm mad that that one was left. I guess that's just like real life. But I'm glad that that thread was left in the air. She did ask if he wanted to know. Yeah. But yeah. he really never found out. Yeah, I think that's something we we kind of talked. Or at least I, I wanted to know, did he have any feelings about that? Because, yeah, that, that broke my heart there. And, um... 
I don't know, too, cause, just because, you know, I like the actor, and I was just like, oh, fuck, you doing some... I mean, you, I'm all about oh, a couple, like, I'm all about sexual freedoms, dog. Men get that pussy, women get that dick. Fuck whoever you want, fuck however you want. But I feel like right, there's right. always that code of, dog, don't fuck the homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah, the point. Niggas, yeah. don't fuck that girl best friend or yeah. her sister or some shit. Chicks, don't fuck that man partner, his brother. You know what I mean? Like, they got right. 7 billion people on this earth. You don't have to fuck your ex's friends and family. <laughs> and I had more respect for her as a character, you know what I mean? Because in my mind, she was so righteous. I understand we all flawed, and I guess that was a flaw. Oh. She, but even when he came on to her, I never got that feeling that she took him seriously. I know. Right. It was sort of like, well, They didn't have chemistry or something? Kind of like this, they like, did, I did. quote, uncomfortable, like, I see you, nigga, type yeah. of thing. So when, couple... so when she insinuated that they did something, I'm like, what, girl? Well, then she kissed him. Yeah. Yeah, she did kiss him. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I mm I didn't like, like that. I didn't. I'm gonna need I, you to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, everything but dick sucking, ass eating, pussy licking, everything but that Asian everything. nigga was in her crevices, and that was a nigga in your face. I I just want he didn't get no comeuppance in the whole film. No, he didn't. But my nigga Darius, my nigga Darius, ha <laughs> my nigga Lakeith Stanfield, he always straight Atlanta. That's Darius. <laughs> no, 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 no. He is Darius, who is also this guy, who is also Lakeith, because Lakeith is not acting. <laughs> oh, he the new Bill Bellamy. <laughs> they say Bill Bellamy is the same guy. All his movies going through uh, different is. lives, like going through just different parts of his life. Yes. Is Lakeith the new Bill with that? Yes, shit? <laughs> Lakeith plays these quirky ass characters. He's not acting, except for in Straight Outta Compton. Oh, no, not Strat Captain. Dope. Well, both movies. Strat Captain, he was Snoop. Dope, he was uh, a, a, a blood. He was a blood chasing down uh, the main character and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't even remember. Okay. See, that, no. that, that's his two movies where he oh, had to be a thug. See, every black man got to be a thug at first for whatever reason. <laughs> so whenever he be dis- whenever they saw him not being a thug, then from that point on, Darius is what it became. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he got to be himself, you know what I mean? Because, you know, once you're on, you're on. true to himself. Right, because you know, you can see what type of cat he is. Yeah. He, killed, he was a great lead, though. And I like the fact he he's, a, he's, a, he's an unconventional lead. Very. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Fair he's enough. not the cat. Like, he's skinny. He's handsome, but he's not like that that obvious handsome. He's kind of grungy. He's weird. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, come on, Jay. You know what I mean? Like for Hollywood. You yeah. know what I mean? He's not he's not Hollywood. He's not handsome. traditional hot. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like he ain't got no muscles or nothing, but right. it's like he carried the film straight through freaking skill to me. You know what I mean? And just presence and presence and knowing, you know, it just worked. And like you said, testing him worked. And the story worked. Amazing I just chemistry. I just I'm just mad that you sold me a dark comedy, but it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy, it was sci fi, it was but it was just the was strangest of facet everything. of sci-fi that you could ever find that I did not expect to I get in this. I dug so oh, much. Yeah, I dug it too. I, I dug so much. I, I, I was with them. Like, dude... I thought I was going to hate the, the, the like, I thought I was going to hate the horse turn. The horse turn fucked me up. But like I said, when the horses came to save the day, I laughed so hard that I was like, I'm with you guys. Because imagine y'all motherfuckers in the right room like, yeah. And then the horse people are going to come and kick all the ass and save the day. And my nigga going to get his chick out. I'm like, whoa. I just feel like, I just kept saying, I was like, I wish they would have used something else outside of horse. It's so just weird. Why did they go with horse? Superhuman some bitch. I, well, maybe but, monkeys would be too on the nose. But I feel like horses. I feel like work horses. Work horse, you know, That's horses. what it was. Oh, Over my head. Woo hoo. Okay, I, I get horses. the reasons why, but it's just like, ugh. I just don't like the, the imagery of it. I don't. I just. I didn't fuck with it. I didn't fuck with the horse. I don't think I got the work horse thing too the first time. I think somebody had to bring it up to me. Yeah. But the concept of the worry free, the private penitentiary tip situation, that was, mm. that was that like. Was, that was. A dope flip. And, yeah. And it, it had so many that like from projects to jails, there's so many different allegories you can make out of that shit. And like it's how he was trying to get they trying to build a Keith up to be an Uncle Tom and how even like the world, like even the the, the fact of yeah, you're gonna be our chosen, you're gonna be what they say on Atlanta, our plant. You feel me? Um it it man, dog, like it, it struck the right chords. In so many ways. Like, I thought I was going to dislike it. Because, like Jay said, a lot of people said, when it makes his twist, you ain't going to fuck with it. And I didn't agree with the <laughs> twist. But I still rode until mm-hmm. the end. And it's just... I, I'm, but I'm happy that the movie exists, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. We got us a black film, black leads, quirky little movie. You like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. But it had something to say. And not every movie can say that. Yeah. Very true. Um... It says it tries to say a lot though too. They did. Um, I think it succeeds on um, most fronts. Um, his best friend, this I guy here, him. 
Huh? I dug that character. I dug him too. I don't normally like him. He's been in other things? What else has he been in? He's on this show on CBS called Something Donuts. I can't remember the name of it exactly. It's like got donuts in the title. Um, and I've, uh, I've seen it a couple times. I, I don't really care for it. He was in something else too. Um, I don't know if we can pull up his IMDb, but he's probably been in something else too that you've seen. Um, I forget the uh, name of it. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't normally care for him. Mm hmm. And he really won me over here. He worked in this film. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I, I, I really wanted to see more of him, and I was just like, well, dang, well, you know what? Now I kind of feel bad because I just kind of ignored the shit out of him uh, in the beginning. But what, what's his. Um, Jermaine 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 Fowler. Uh, uh, Arrogant Observer knew him from this other like sketch comedy show or something that he did too that uh, he was familiar C-I-D-G. with. C I D G. What's your name? Jermaine Fowler. Let's see. Damn, you got some credits. The Six, Just Originals, Guy Code, Eric Andre Show, In Living Color. Funny. Wow. Okay. You see, he been around that long. He was in In Living Color. Oh no, <laughs> it's a reboot. Oh, yeah, that reboot. Never that mind. Did. Yeah. Black superhero girls on roommates. Funny or Die presents college humor. He been a lot of those college humor joints. Yeah, I think uh, that's where Eric Observer knows Don't him, walk Lucas, bro. That's the only thing I can think I've seen him in. I don't want this boy Jack Horseman for people. <laughs> Robot <laughs> Yeah, he hasn't been anything that I watch. He's voiced things that I watch, mm-hmm. but he hasn't been in anything that I watch. Except for, I'm, like, I'm out of Superior Donuts is what you're talking about. Y'all have watched that um, HBO show Crashing? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Because mm-hmm. he's on that, too, they say. He's on that, too, yeah. That, that's wow. another place where I saw him. I felt like so bad there. for how that friendship went. In, yeah. in, in in this joint, yeah. Um, the the whole and like, we didn't talk that long about it, but the white voice thing was a it was a very interesting aspect of touching on colorism. I like that. I'm not colorism, Ooh. code code switching, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how like they showed because even even Danny Glover said, dude, even if black people say you quote unquote talk white, you still black dog. It's still not. You're not what they need to. They, you're not that right. trusting over the phone what they need to. And feel I love safe. how he said, "This is how they want to sound. This is how they think they're supposed to sound." Exactly. That was, that, was, that, was a, that was a great <laughs> female ad, The future is the female Oh yeah I'm, I'm totally with her Like earrings And her fashion statements That she makes They're very <laughs> political Yeah I love the earrings So It's almost fun To sort of watch What she's gonna come up with mm-hmm. next, next time Yeah Nigga dick earrings <laughs> That's dope Murder murder kill <laughs> earrings she has so much, so much, so much, so much going on. And I like the transitions on this on this film, too. Like, whoever shot it, it was shot really well. It they was. took advantage of the colors. It's a very colorful film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the concept of dropping him in the rooms every time that he... Um, oh, yeah, I that effect was that. so dope. That yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Like, though, the movie's got a lot going exactly for it. Exactly, it does. A lot of flair. You know. There's a lot going for it. There's a lot going for it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to speak on on this film, though, because... I just, I'm mad I didn't see it when it was in the theaters, but I think I'd have been mad afterwards. I'd have been angry. <laughs> a lot of people were upset, and I would have been pissed if I saw this in theaters and it went the way it went. Yeah, I would have been angry. I would have been, I would have been with those crowds of people that said, "This is no, this movie is trash." Not trash because it's not no, trash. It's, it's not trash though. It's not trash at all. But, but great I can see why on that were note, angry. though, people are walking, especially out of the with the very the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 and that's the that. problem that that's what happens. Like just because the movie doesn't end the way that you want it to end, you're gonna think the whole it ruins the entire experience. <laughs> and if your experience as a movie goer is is not favorable, then the entire movie suck. And that happens to a lot of movies that sometimes you go back and watch and be like, that movie's pretty pretty good. Yeah, like for me, and I guess it it, it may be universal. It's like you can um, have a dope beginning. Sort of muddy through the middle, but as long as you can come through with a strong ending, I can kind of forgive that. I can kind of walk out of the theater on a high note. But if you gotta walk out of the theater on that bad note, it's like it—it it, it kind of just throws away all the goodwill you built. It muddles that, it until you watch it, it again. But here go, <laughs> but here go the killer. Here go the killer though. Here go the so killer. You watch it again. This movie does end with a strong though. ending. Yeah. That ending is strong. Just yeah. we didn't want that. No, yeah, we not did at all. It's like if you it's like if Get Out ended with the ending that it originally had. Oh Lord, right. The original Get Out ending oh, was a strong that is a ending. Crazy oh, ending. But you would have been so been hurt. So pissed and, though. And that's what happened here. It's uh, like this should have been the alternate ending, and you should have gave us the ending we wanted, which is my dude and Tessa and his <laughs> cool ass fucking bed. We've been bed. through enough. We've been through enough he with right. the damn horses. That was enough. Dude, I mean, that's what yeah. happened. They just didn't give audience the ending that they wanted because they sold us as a comedy. You know what I mean? So no one was expecting a tragic ending. When you go see horror films, you kind of expect everybody to die. 
So when everybody dies, even if the protagonist dies, you're like, well, niggas was going to die. It was horror. That's what I signed up for. But when you mm-hmm. sell me a comedy with black people, you don't expect it to end up with the main character being fucked, even after everything is saved and such. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already got much more to say on it, man. I'm trying to think of what the themes that came to mind. Even the things like that's they, what I, yeah, I wanted to tell you about that. That was so the brutality of this, this like that, <laughs> sort of kind of fucked with me. And then the the that he's talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that, is on television, what do they call it? To get the shit beat out, kicked out of you, yeah, or beat out yeah. of you, or something like that. Yep. yep, the shit, the shit. Yeah, I got the shit kicked out of me, and it was one of those like one of those Easter Ray moments where they created their own television to make a spoof of what's on TV these days. And it was trippy. I he had no one would listen to him when he had the horse videos. He had to go on that show. And get literally yeah. shitted on yeah. to speak the truth. And that was a horse imagery too when he had all that shit on him. I was like, why is it like he has ears or something? It was a weird thing yeah. when he was all brown. He looked like a horse on some shit that, that brought it back to my attention. Like, uh, they gonna turn this nigga to a fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. It's gonna always be the fucking horse movie, dog. You did not sneak that horse thing past him, uh, Boots Riley. It, you didn't. That's too bad, though. I, well, you know what? I, like I said, man, when the, the movie went on long enough for me to almost kind of forget. <laughs> and almost. then almost kind of forget. And then you get to the point where it's like, oh, shit, they're not going to do it. No, uh, they, did. Uh, they did it. How would you have ended the film? Personally, let's see. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know actually I wouldn't have gone with the horse yeah ending. if you didn't go with horses like how would you have gone what would you put there if it wasn't the horse thing mm. you too Jay what, what, what I would have been? ended it with them and you okay. hated the horses like would you have kept the horses if this was your movie no I wouldn't have had horses I would have had some other um, it probably just would have been some kind of genetic mutation that wouldn't have involved them actually like morphing into half animal creatures but it would have been something that would have been done to them um because i like the whole like genetic mutate i like the whole what they were trying to go for but just the it's just it just was too much for me with the damn horses i would have done something along the lines of maybe some green light or some shit we're gonna do something to these people to make them work harder and faster but it's not gonna be anything with animals so i wouldn't have had horses i wouldn't have had horses i what think- would you have done um, like, like the more, I think, I think I, I think I fuck with the horse thing. I like, cause my, like I said, my first mind with the monkeys or something, you know what I'm saying? Or right. uh, sheep, because you know, that, that same metaphor. But the thing is, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I would have even gone, even thought to go human mutation no. into an animal. I think just that twist was so, so left. You didn't even have no setups fully. Now, like you said, you said that horses everywhere. I want to go watch it again to catch all the horses. Yeah. But if if they just would have had, like, if their logo would have been a horse and they would have already been kind of more more obviously showing me horse imagery that when the nigga turned to a horse, I wouldn't have been as taken aback. It still would have been satisfied what it needed to satisfy. But I think think it's the fact that... There was no hint that a nigga was gonna get turned into another yeah. nigga to thing. So you know when I mean? these things pop up, that's what like, I'm saying. Wait, it was jarring. Where moving just, my end took right me now? Out. You know it what I mean? Me I'm not too sure because when you think about it, okay, he rose to the top. He got to the man. You know what I mean? Your dude uh, made him snort the coke and shit. And I just thought that he just was gonna get. If anything, dude, I thought he just was gonna get worse and worse and worse. As you know, I mean, as he rose the ranks as being a power caller to the point of like, you know what? I would have my thought would have been he was gonna turn white, maybe I've been too on the nose, but I thought he was gonna start like maybe his skin could have started lightening up, and maybe his hair, like maybe he been putting on that white voice for so fucking long. Now that is starting to like turn him in some kind of manner. Mm, that's to get out, you know. What I mean, is that get out? Yeah, a little bit. That's putting niggas' consciousness. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, it's I mean, I mean, he's actually. I'm talking about he's actually no, turning into a white saying. man. I, I mean, if you're, you're still saying. gonna go into, I'm changing into something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think, like, I think I fuck with the horse shit as long as he don't turn to a horse. <laughs> as long as he don't turn into a horse, I'm with you, dog. I, I, I ride mean, with the weird. I still, especially I, on I, second I, watch. <laughs> I still appreciate the horse ending. Um, yeah, fuck you. I do, man. Oh. I appreciate the horse ending. 
and uh, and I'm I'm an evil person. Evilly disappointed. And uh, it's an appropriate yeah, it was, tragedy. It's bold. Tragic. I don't know. Just thought it that move was bold. bold. You know what I'm saying? It's and like like we like we said here, it's not a move that none of us would have made. And that's the beauty of it too. You know, that's and the it's kind of it. like there's there's some merit there. There is, you know? like I said, as an artistic piece, it's freaking amazing, honestly. Because like I said, if we're visually. gonna go visually, yeah. if we're gonna go tragic tragedy for this character. That is the tragedy. He got so caught up that he made that one mistake. Trusted the white man. Did not hit because there's there's like in all these, in all these types of stories. There's always these warnings of somebody saying you're going in the wrong direction. Turn around. You're going in the wrong. He had all these like watching freaking Heisenberg. He had all these moments where he could have not done this, but he kept pushing forward. He became a fucked up person. He turned on his friends, and it's so fucked up that you say so bold that he righted all his wrongs and still ended up fucked. Yeah. That's what I think hurts me as a watcher. It's like, and that's what is still gonna sit with me to always remember this film too. So it's like a double-edged sword. Sword. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that. I just hate the ending. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, we talk about the ending more than any other part of this film. Can we talk about the very, very beginning where he goes in there on his uh, job interview, the very first scene? Yeah. And he like has this bullshit trophy, Bruh. and he's lying his ass off to that, get a telemarketing job. It's like that to me was so cute. But it was that, so, it so was. true. It, I know, right? But I was just like, I, I thought that was a perfect like springboard. Yeah. Uh, into this, like you know. Don't really know what you're getting into but yep. in terms of like an opening scene man that was dope oh another thing we didn't talk about is how his dad is uh, is like when he's when he's doing bad his dad sort of kind of gives him look a kept different changing. look yeah, he kept changing, changing in I the thought picture I was tripping. Yeah. I like that too that was I like, really cool and then really at the cool. very end he was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah which also makes it once again tragic tragic okay yeah. thanks you know thanks for bringing us down depressing us and now he's Appreciate this disgusting it. creature awesome at least he has a horse, big old horse dick is what... Uh, well, at least he had, well, now he does, thank goodness. It's, uh, Sounds terrible. You know, something to look forward to when there's nothing else. Okay, yeah. So, I don't think I got really much else to say on Sorry to Bother You. I think um, if you didn't like it, give it another watch. I think it's I think it's worth that. Just Give on it arts. a watch, and then as soon as he goes to the bathroom, just turn it off. Turn it, turn it off when wow. he when he closes the dr- the door to the new room. When he's looking at all the shit he took from the, the old spot. And that's it. And end then of cut movie. it off. End of movie. That's the end of the movie. That's uh, that's a way to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> that is, in fact, a way to watch it. Yes. But I respect it, man. I, I, like, I respect it. I, I got to say that. I respect the film, though. We've told you about it, though. So now, if you haven't seen it, What did Arrogant Observer say? It. Um, he dug it, uh, to my memory. Um, I, I, I do remember him yelling out horse people through a lot of it. So I, I honestly, that's all I remember. I remember his shock. Right. Um. Rightfully so. Rightfully so, yeah. Yes, it should be. Um, but I remember him digging it, you know? Um, like, uh, it, I think we kind of both landed in the same place about it in terms of, like, just the, the ballsiness of it, just to kind of... Uh, have this whole build up and then you know get to the that nigga car sucked but his girl was the real real dog yeah, she, she helped him with the windshield wiper by pulling it down from the inside like they had a string in the inside that, that was moving the windshield wipers the when, it rained, when it rained yeah. <laughs> oh my god talk about riding that like I said though nothing yeah. set up in that for her to fuck with the Asian nigga except unless she just did it out of pure like I want to get back at uh, Darius. <laughs> yeah. He just didn't even make a dope claim. It was just sort of like, God damn. This nigga had no fire he had like, Yeah, if he had came in and like swagged it up and I was just like, well, how could she say no to fucking, you know, Glenn from The Walking Dead? Look how he nope. came in here and swagged it up. Nope. It's just sort of like, he, he came and stumbled box. in and was just like, look at me. I can swing a sign hey, I'm too. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm That's ninja. all it was. I'm here. She was like, oh, okay. He's that here. Was it. I'm like, That's, He's here. That's... And Bay is uh, mad, so yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Yeah, you know, you just you, you depressed me. I, th- me I dug his it. managers I at the job too. I thought them guys were hilarious. The white guy they uh, kept on saying, um, you know, the, you got to tag it and bag it, and when you know when it's tagged. Oh, is that the high five guy? That yeah, guy, yeah, I like him too. I dug him. Good. Yeah. I dug that actor. I like that was perfectly cast. He was so slimy. He was real. Yeah, like sometimes you watch things, you wonder where this. Are these people acting, or do they think that they're in real life and they're right. just getting paid to just be them? But um, yeah, bro, love the Pat Oswald and uh, who's the David Cross does um, 
Lakeith Stanfield's voice, right? Does his what? His uh, white voice, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about who do the white voices. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I know Patton Oswalt does, I want to say, uh, Ghost's voice. Ghost. White voice. Every time Ghost talked, I laughed because he kept so many ghost mannerisms with the noise. Yeah, you know I know. He has so many like, ghost yeah, mannerisms. You know, yeah, from the eyes, from that little rock you know, he does little, when he... Yeah, yeah the little... Tr- it's like, why is Ghost working cool, here? Make sure you bring those bottles down it's the truth. Oh my god, nigga. Like, it, it was it just was great. Bottles. But, like, y'all motherfuckers need to understand that it's stressful being a black person in America where you can't always talk how you really talk because then you're too, you're too, like, you're too ghetto, you're too hood, you're too mm-hmm. black and shit. Like, this movie, like, I'm always giving you this respect for hitting that shit in the mouth, even in an intelligent manner of dog. This man had to had to fucking sell his soul to be one of y'all to to become a workhorse in the end, and it's like it's some deep shit, you dig? Like I was reading this inter- this article, this interview earlier with Zoe Kravitz was saying that um you know I mean she had trouble identifying being black at a point because um she only caught like she was raised around so much white culture and only caught the stereotypes in media yeah. about black culture, and then so when 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 um I think. Somebody important in her life, forget who it was, threw her on like certain black art. That's when she just dug in fully and it was like so pissed that so much was denied of her, of her, you know. Yeah. Bitch, you still no, black. No. And she realized, nigga, I'm still black. You know what I'm saying? Even right. though she yeah. come from two mixed, you know, parents. And she was like frustrated because um, she likes to pick her roles very particularly because she don't want to do roles that are always defined her by her race unless it's like some crazy important type of thing. But for the most part, she want to just be able to be. And um, she said she had auditioned for The Dark Knight Rises. She got turned down to audition for that because they they said we're not trying to go as urban. And that's pretty what? fucked up. That Wait, just for be- who? Dark, yeah. Dark, who knows? I don't know. But just in general to be told that they're not trying to go urban just because you're black. Cause oh, what, what else can you think that. of? Because Zoe don't put her out like she's like Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's fucked up that you just jumped to that. So it's just funny when I look at this movie on the fact that this man was shot down talking in... A they didn't want a black girl. You know what I mean? Just the fact of that. That just was just an uh, interesting flip how they came at that. Like, this and Get Out are two companion pieces, definitely. Like, they're in the same yes. genre of yeah. whatever this new wave of black cinema thrill suspense is. That, like, yeah. Because at certain moments where I could tell that this once again just like get out has something to say about the black experience Mm -hmm. well if this is your shot blind spotting would be a dope chaser well that's the next yeah you want to be blind spot next week yeah that that would be dope because i'm about to watch blind spot next i think i'll uh, and most people dug blind spotting like i really like i got nothing but good praise in here and goods here say about blind spotting um, I, I, man, I saw it, dude, <laughs> at least I walked past it on the shelf at work, and I was just like, man, it's $14.99, I mean, I could, I could front $14.99, man, I, I, I'll get it, you know, I was just kind of like, ah, you know what, nah, I'm gonna go get some lunch instead, um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I was just like, I, I, I just have all these dope, dope, uh, memories of it, and, um, yeah, it was just something that like I'd like to revisit like as soon as possible. Um, but uh, it was a it was a real good movie. Yeah. Uh, I, I dug it a lot. Um, can't this, wait. To... Wait, pause. This scene on the TV right now where Tessa Thompson had the beard on and she was spray painting. I love her character so much. Oh my it's god, crazy. slave over a warrior. I, come on, dude. And just the whole metaphor about slavery okay. is just you know I don't even have to go that deep into it, but just how far apart are we from it? You know what I'm saying? So right. it was. <sighs> Great movie, and like you said, Blind Spot <laughs> is next. Bad ending. Well, not bad ending. Bad not my hashtag. Not my ending. Bad ending. Hashtag not my ending. Not my ending. So uh, tell the people out there where they can find y'all, what y'all representing, and all that, that man. Okay. Or they can hit stop right now. Y'all don't have to say shit. Uh, oh, hi. Jeez. So hostile wow. and aggressive. If you want non hostility, follow me. Fuckers. I am J- <laughs> Oh my gosh. Jeez. Follow me at I am J Steel. Not J A Y. Because people be asking me that no motherfucker is J. The letter. J Steel underscore. Also, if you likes to eat, 
follow my food mm. blog, Fat Girl Nola. And if you like the films that are independently made and maybe a little weird, like if you wow. watch Sorry to Bother You, you probably like my shit. Go follow Very Films. But I don't put horse <laughs> people in my shit because that's yeah, fucked up. You won't be mad at the end. No. What they Equus Sapiens? Equus Sapiens. Equus even the name is creepy. I'm yeah. Like, oh. Yo. I yeah. hate it. I hate it. No, fuck them for that shit. No, hey, fuck them. Hey, look at me. I'm I'm Glenn from The Walking Dead, and I can do a little routine with a sign. He's a bitch face. I don't like him. But you can find me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Marty, M-A-R-T-Y, Edwards504 on Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can also go to LorrainePictures.com, where I call the show there with the Arrogant Observer called Your Third with Marty and the Arrogant Observer. Check it out. Yep, yep. So this is that actor guy, Mr. Bats. You can find me on Facebook as Martin Bats Bradford. Everybody else at Mr. Bats. Spell it, Mr. Otto. You ain't gonna find me. Hit us up at flywithbats at gmail to talk to that crew. Hit us up at reviewing that at gmail to talk to this crew. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends about us, man. We be talking about all kinds of shit, man. Yep. Uh, I think that's all I gotta say, man. Thank y'all for listening, man. Till next week. We Peace. out. Look up, Jesse. Say cheese. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Say goodnight, Somebody said something. I, um, I can't remember who it was, but I, was, I, I agree that um, he approached this movie like he was never going to get an opportunity to make another fucking movie ever again in life. Oh, Every Jesus. idea he's ever had, he threw it into this bad boy. Yeah. And um, what what we got is what we got. You know what I mean? He's like, you know what, man? I may not ever get a chance to do this again. You know what I really want to do? I want to fuck the world. Horse, horse niggas. You know what? We're going to have a horse fucking revolution at the end of it. Oh, that's really going to fuck this shit up. How do you sell it? Yeah, baby. This shit is going to be amazing. <laughs> How do you sell it? Like, I wonder if you were the boy. Did, did, it, did he tell them in the pitch that the horse Wait, people was, was going to happen? Did... Or did that just suddenly <laughs> threw at their asses? <laughs> what? Am I tripping? I feel like I read an article that said that he didn't tell them, he just did it. Or was that something else we were talking about? I don't know, son, but I, find, I, I feel know. that he didn't say that. I read an article, of, of like, where they interviewed him, <coughs> and I could be tripping, but I feel like at some point in it, he was like, we didn't have that in the pitch. I don't know. I think I wouldn't have put it in the pitch. Even I if I even if I would put it in my movie... I would have tried to also, because I already got to sell to him. This dude could be having his white voice as a telemarketer rise up in the ranks and it's going to corrupt them. But then you're going to say, then he's going to find horse people who have been getting made by the by the, by the jail people. And yeah, he's going to become the Martin the king of horses. And he's going to end up being a horse. I don't think he could sell that. Probably not. I think that's probably what fucked up the film because at a point it, it opened okay and then it started slowing up and I think the bad word of mouth or the bad taste of that ending is what might have thrown certain people off. It will be I a know, cult classic. I think it's going to be remembered way far better like in, in, in years to come than, than it did. is like right yeah. now. It's gonna, yeah. I'm telling you. I think like the, 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 the future is going to be good to it. Oh boy, I've been in that moment. Well, it's like, I thought this part was so cute. It's like, oh, he just wants to it's like, uh, na, 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 You know what? Oh, I'm so listening to everything. Can I just, you know. I want to see some more stuff together. Them? Yeah, the Keith and Tessa. I want to see more stuff together. I think it'd be cool.
I just like seeing all the black people that. just, you know, fall in line with each other. From Viola and Lupita got that movie coming out. Um, oh, that's I saw, gonna, be, that's I gonna be crazy. I saw and Widows, bro. You didn't like it? I did not. Whoa. And Arrogant Observer did. We're supposed to review it. Yo, oh, I, I, oh, I gotta see this movie now. Yeah, you got it. You I, didn't see it, but he tell me you didn't like it, but he liked it. Yeah, and I was just like, it's the I didn't know. Generation. Huh? It's the Street Kings of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say that? Don't you say that? Don't. Oh man, fucking Street Kings, man. Oh man, I. What's her girl's name? Cynthia something. Um, forget her name. But um, yeah, she kind of you know comes in and think holds her own. I mean, they got this thing has moments, but overall, dude, I was uh. All right, if you're gonna see it, I'm just gonna hold my. I'm gonna watch. I got because like I said, but, Widows and Creed two are two films that I gotta catch. Oh, okay, cool. And I like shit. Creed. Mm-hmm. And the Spider Man, Spider Chick, man. Oh, and Spider Man is coming, but uh, the girl that the dragon tattoo, oh, Spider's web. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm. A, is that still playing? I don't know. Yes. Oh, it is. Okay. So that's three joints I want to catch in theaters that I'm gonna catch hopefully soon. Widows, Creed. So you already saw Creed. So if I see Creed and Widows, we could have, we could talk about them joints. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I see Widows and Creed. She, you still got she, she still, you still have your movie pass, don't you? She has the nerve to have movie pass. Yo, you still I'm, have it. What are they I'm doing an now? Extreme optimist to the point of like. Yo, pull it up real quick. I just want to see what do they offer. Then I offer like nothing right have, now. I have days where I check the whole day. There's no movies. Rachel, that's. I didn't go see no damn movie. Somebody, Bitch. that's from the time you probably last saw a movie, nigga. Oh. No so it's giving us today. No, sure. No, Bohemian Rhapsody. Hey, go to your, no go to your theaters. Let's see. Go to your theaters. Oh. Let's see what it tells us. You are such an optimist. Look at you. She still has this Nothing. shit. Okay. Yeah, it's gotten worse. Oh, there's a Oh, Green you can go Book. see Green Book at 10 o'clock. Let's go see Green Book. What time is it it's now? It's not going to be there tomorrow, watch. What time is it now? 10.19. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you 100 feet in there? Well, yeah, you can go see it. Sure. It's not going to be available tomorrow, I bet you. Nothing. That's, That's it. it. Book. Okay. Just well, ma'am, we're only offering you Green Book. Just you are you are is. on to the month. You're still in there? You still hanging in there? I kind of forgot about it because I deleted the app on my other phone. I forgot oh. I had it. Mm-hmm. And then I got my new phone. And I was like, let me just put it back on for my kids' sake. Because maybe there's something that will come out and we could go. Right. Not one kid's movie, nothing. They ain't like, no damn kid's movies. Because kid's movies are blockbusters these days. Yeah. You're going to always make some kind of money off a kid's flick because your kid parents are trying to bring the kids someplace in the weekends. And then people just go at who don't have kids at all. Yeah, that, that too. too. But really, what's the last kid's movie to flop? Truthfully. You put out an animated joint that look halfway decent, it's gonna make some money. Yeah, one big name in it, you pretty you pretty sad. You're gonna make some. Nothing comes to mind at least. I think that Spider Man to the Spider Verse is gonna be hype. It's gonna be tight. Yeah, is any word out on that yet? They've been lighting out a lot of clips, uh reviews. No, I haven't read any reviews on it. I think DC just got excited, so they let niggas talk early. You know what I'm saying about Aquaman? Uh, oh. And Marvel like, nah, bitch, you gonna wait till the last minute. Uh, I, I'm, um, I'm optimistic about uh, Aquaman. I, like, I'm watching all the trails and stuff, and I'm putting it together, and I'm like, well, you know what, this can work. Let's see how it pieces together I, the whole film. DC's about to have a string of hits, I'm telling you. But the none of them... Yeah, that's all they need, really, man. It's just a nice little upswing. The fucked up thing is, none of the hits to come are going to be from the big IPs. Aquaman and Wonder Woman, yeah. Because Aquaman going to be a hit. Watch. Shazam going to be a hit, right? Yeah. Uh, That new Wonder Woman, that's going to be a hit. Watch. That new Birds of Prey with uh, freaking Harley Quinn, Huntress... 
freaking uh, Jernay Smollett playing Black Canary and shit. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Like, dude, that Birds of Prey with Harley Quinn turning over to the good side and shit to go against Black Mask, that's going to be a big hit. It's, and come on, like, and it's got a whole new, like, a different person at the helm. Um, you got your boy from Guardians of the Galaxy who might be picking up Suicide Squad. Like, they have a uh, bunch of hits coming. It's just, it's going to be a while before we see Superman... Batman, because Batman just has a director. Batman has been director for the past three years. I don't know when that's coming. Joker most oh, likely yeah. gonna be a hit once and again. Matt Reeves no more. It is Matt Reeves. Oh, okay. But Matt Reeves been the director for the past few years. I don't know when that film coming. They hoping by twenty twenty. Ain't no casting yet. Ain't no script finish. <laughs> the upgrade. This nigga. Is they had reshoots. I'm more than sure they had reshoots of this film, son. He has wigs on sometimes. I can tell when it's a wig. And I can tell when it's his hair. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought it was a wig the whole time. It was his hair at one point. Well, they, they switch up on the wig. I just feel like early in the film, it feels like he actually has twists. Throughout the film, uh, especially in the very end, that last scene, it's obviously a wig. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me laugh. Like, it's a wig, too. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a wig too, but yeah. My son has nobody, son. He's, He's just a regular every man. And I'm saying that's cool. Like you need regular niggas. And you know he eating good. That's how Tom Hanks blew, bro. <laughs> he was the every man. He was so cute. Oh. He was another cutie. But once again, not Splash Hollywood hot. Regular, right? regular nigga. Splash big Splash. man. I thought I saw that on Hulu, yeah. bro. It's one of my favorite movies, Big and I Splash. know. But it's right? not on yeah. Hulu right now. It's mad. Yeah. I got tricked. Oh. That's two movies I used to watch constantly. Big is the shit. Yeah, Big used to come on HBO all the time. That was one of the few things I could watch. They had this nigga. They had this nigga get jumped to get his, the truth out. Jump and shitting on. Like, that's no, you get but direct. <laughs> Before you could tell us the truth, you have to get beat up and shat on. 